Welcome in Cali, welcome Blades, good to see you both. We'll get started here in just a moment. Alright, I'm back. Welcome everyone. Blades, good to see you. Summer, Mateo, Ali, Sarah, great to have you all. Well, we're in Coastal Highway, I think, at Fish Camp. We're looking for food. I don't remember what we're doing over here. Honestly, I think we were just looking for food. Let's just go back into it and see what's going on. They were under encumbered, that's nice. No fuel, okay. Let's try some torches so we have some sticks in our inventory. I, I don't remember what we're doing. I think we're crafting. So we're about to craft, uh, yeah, the bear, bear pants, bear, bear pants, bear boots. It's the next thing. Got some maples here. Yeah. I hope everyone's having a great Saturday. We're just going to take it easy today, do more vanilla and triple bread. And we'll see if we can uh, explore some more beachcomb, beachcomb action. Okay. <clears throat> if we're making the coat, we'll prep this. I want to do some hunting and spend some time outside. Because I think we're out of, like, meat. So, shoot our way towards... Misanthrope? Maybe grab something to eat. Drag it back. Or have it out in the ice, I don't know. Think about it. 45 cattails, some crackers, a lot of coffee. All right, it's something. I guess uh, near Logstar, there's always some deer. Let's go that way. Oh, never mind. Maybe we aren't going anywhere right now. Let's go back to sleep. Two hours, see what happens. And cheers, everyone. I have a cappuccino today. I don't know how to froth the milk very well, but I'm trying. I'm trying. Might as well. Chop, chop. I don't know if we have cloth. We we typically don't have much cloth on us, just because why? There's cloth everywhere. Yeah, we didn't have anything. Might as well grab it. Got nothing better to do. But it's a blizzard, so we'll do beachcombing again. That's the plan. <clears throat> As soon as this stops, we'll go all the way to the end and beach come all. all the way to Coastal Village or whatever it's called. Steaming milk takes practice, thanks, Tess. We'll figure it out, but yeah, I definitely am a long ways off. We got a ways to go. Alright. So apparently these tukes are so common now, beachcombing. Oh, it sounds like it stopped. Let's go out there. We're gonna go beach go and chat. Maybe we get some fish. Maybe we shoot a deer. Either way, we just got the weather finish. So hopefully we can go all the way down to the end here and find something cool. Oh, hello, sir. <laughs> Only nine arrows. I guess that's about what we like to have. Nine or ten. I burnt the tip of my W key finger on this on this machine I'm trying to learn how to use this morning. <laughs> so I'll auto walk a lot today, how about that? Hey, at least we're fully rested. We're warm. Let's go. Let's go check out all the way to the end and back again. And like I said, we'll shoot a deer if we see it on the way. wolf we killed yesterday, I guess. Yeah, feathers, good stuff. 
Visibility is not great, but if we're closer, maybe we see. What I should do is mark where the beachcomb spawns are, like with spray paint or something, and see if they're consistent in the same areas. Because if it's a case where I don't need to go all the way to the end, then I should know that, <laughs> right? We'll mark the last beachcomb site we find. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Oh, shoot. Okay, that's your cue. Let's go back this way. I think uh, coast is clear, but Jackrabbits and on has a lot of stuff. All right, let's see what we got today. Still hoping to find a boat or something really neat like that, but we'll see. Lots of good stuff so far as far as items and clothing. <clears throat> oh shoot, getting a little close. Oh, is that a suitcase? Yeah, it's a little. Oh, it's a little hard to see. Wow. Here, what we could do is this, like, we don't need it, but we could drop it here and then always come back for the cloth later. And it's an indication that that's where something spawns? I don't know. I almost want- I almost want some light. I can't see anything here. I don't want to miss any, uh, beachcomb locations, so. Oh yeah, that's way better. Now we can actually see if there's anything on the ice. Yeah, it seems like behind Jackrabbit's one of the best spots so far. There's just so many spawns. Each comb our way all the way around, why not? And then maybe we just do that every time there's a blizzard. Let's see what we get. Again, we could just leave this stuff here. Or, like, collect it and put it in a jackrabbit or something. Yeah, it's neat. There's just a lot of good stuff on this beach. Oh, shoot. So, like, for nope runs, maybe going to Coastal Highway is now worthwhile. Maybe you get a couple wool tukes right away. <clears throat> You know, I've heard you can get matches and flares, but I haven't seen it yet, and who knows how consistent they are. Well, I said behind jackrabbits was really good, but I'm not seeing anything. We just had a blizzard, so there should be a refresh. Fresh. Hey, Ham, welcome in. Good to see you. There should be a refresh. We'll see. What's that? Jeez, that rabbit scared me. It just ran right, right in front of me. I've noticed, too, a lot of the beachcomb stuff isn't on thin ice. So, that's interesting. Alan, welcome in. Yeah, we got a coffee today. Cappuccino today, actually. I'm trying to learn how to use this uh, new espresso machine that I got. Um, it's sort of, sort of figuring it out. It's gonna take a bit, though. Oh, there's a boat, chat! Oh, we got a boat! Look at this! What? It's a real deal boat! With a locker. Oh, this is so cool. I wonder if I can drop any of this we got a fish. This is it, chat. Hey, Rox, good to see you. Oh my goodness, there's a door. We're, we're on a boat, chat. <laughs> yeah, it goes to the highway. Wow, I didn't get to see you. Let's get out of here. 
Can I put a fire down inside here? No. Dead roll, maybe? <laughs> Either way, this is so cool. Well done. Well done, Hinterland. I like it a lot. Even though all it had was... Oh, there's a rope, too. That's interesting. All it had was the fish, basically. Still really cool. That's really cool, chat. Let's just cook this quick, why not? 6% torch, uh-oh. Next blizzard it will go poof. I know, Wouting. What happens if you're inside a boat and, and a blizzard <laughs> DJ takes it away? Do you just end up in the water? Hey, Ruik, good to see you. We're gonna need a bigger boat. That's the biggest boat? Yeah, Ruik, did you just... Uh, I'll, I'll look back at it again, but that's the big boat. We just found it. So I'm really, uh, I'm really excited. Check out this monster. Isn't this cool? Clip it, chat. This is Astrid's, uh, what, what should we name it? This is our vessel. Uh, a big bass fishing boat. I don't know. This is pretty cool, though. I wonder if there's any little secrets we're missing. You got the door. You've got several lockers to loot. It's really cool. Digging it. Yeah, there's actual cabins to go into. Uh, e. Isn't that sweet? Is that beachcombing? We're beachcombing. Yeah, this is the new beachcombing update. Um, so you're getting... We just had a blizzard, and you're getting, after the blizzard, a refresh of all the beachcomb loot. So we just got... Basically, um... A new boat washing ashore, with some loot on it. Alright, moldy. Let's eat it. Hopefully we don't get the uh, poisoning again. It's, okay. Right, let's just carry on. I'll loot all the way to Misanthrope, or um, heck, I'll even go. I'll even go into uh, <laughs> Desolation Point tonight. I don't care. We don't got anything else we need to do really, other than craft. We'll craft some uh, bear coat or bear bedroll or bear coats and bear bedroll. Like we have options. But either way, like I'm more intrigued by the speech coming obviously right now. So let's carry on with that. Even though it's dark, you know, it's it, we're warm, so we can get away with it. Just visibility is poor, so we gotta keep our eyes peeled. Yeah, it's really cool. So we found another boat before, but it was just like one of those little skiffs, you know, the ones that you have uh, at like fish camp. Uh, so that was neat, but we actually got a legit boat <laughs> where you can go in the cabin. That was the boat in the trailer, and that's the one I wanted to see. Oh, what's this we got here? Planks right at the river's edge. River, sorry, ocean's edge. That's that was the goal of uh, my beachcomb adventure is to find the cool boat from the trailer. So we win, chat. We won. It's spawning coastal highway. Yeah, we're in coastal, and that was jackrabbits. Just um, if you're leaving jackrabbits, heading to Misanthrope, it was right near the last little island there. So we started right at the beginning because we were in fish camp and there was a blizzard. So we thought, why not? We go all the way to uh, where the bridge is, and we looted from there forward. Okay, yeah. I was like, Wait, there's a lot of ice over there. We should check. But it's thin. Yeah, at least we can see with the torch, pretty much. <clears throat> so that's definitely one of the coolest things we've seen washed up so far. Oh, something else. I see locker, I think. And again, this is all fresh, new loot. Alright. A whole lot of nothing, but it's a chance at something. Like, you could get something in there, you know? I think I'll go to Crumbling. Why not? Uh. 
Why wouldn't we? Hey, Quill, good to see ya. You see one in a different region too? Ooh. Well, I'm curious about Bleak and Light. Like, I haven't been to Bleak yet, so I want to go there today as well. And figure out if Bleak has, like, some cool stuff happening. It's, I'm sure it does, but it's just a smaller area of beachcombing. Just behind the lighthouse, really. So we'll see. Look, we'll get to see you. Welcome on in. We just are chilling here on the beach. Picking up some items. Seeing some sights. This, actually, we didn't get a whole lot of stuff today. Unless we're missing it. Uh, we got the boat, which is awesome, but we didn't get any, like, saplings. Let's just go, let's just walk the blizzard tonight, or the, the beach tonight. Why not? I can see the um, commuter's lament area, I think, over here. So we'll just carry on towards that and then cut in. Ooh, whoa, okay, a little spicy. Oh, okay. Are we, uh, oh, I think we're not at Commuter's Lament. We're at some other random location that's in the middle of nowhere. That's Commuter's Lament way over there. Oops. I wouldn't mind shooting a deer and then having that here to eat when we come back, but if we don't see one, we don't see one. There is usually one hanging around out this area. So if you're just tuning in, we're on Interloper, Vanilla Loper, we're doing beachcombing runs along the coastal highway. We just found our big boat, it's very cool. Oh, I hear something. Oh goodness. I didn't get the I didn't get the chance, did I chat? Okay, maybe we can just get lucky. Chase this thing around. I don't know. These deer are pain. They're a pain. I need to learn how to hunt them better. <laughs> we've been we've been striking out. Try again. Gotta keep trying, chat. Gotta keep trying. What is going on? I'm like soft locked on something. Oh god. Okay, this is a waste of my time now. <laughs> Let's just get out of here. Once more, once more. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness, the first arrow broke too. Where did the first arrow go? What? I didn't hit him twice. There's no. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Let's see if we can track this deer.
I think we're wasting our time with this one, aren't we? Alright, I can't even see chat. There's no way. Even if we find the deer, what do we do? Yeah, the does, they seem to just run. They run for miles and miles and miles. Like, you shoot them and they go the opposite direction. And it's something you gotta think about. Hunting, uh, hunting deer isn't as efficient as it used to be. Give me your lunch. Now you can pay attention. Nice. Hope we got something good. Like, we could hang out. Try to find the deer later. But it's the middle of the night, and I want to go beachcombing. Or we could sleep and then go beachcombing. Disappointment all around. Alright, onwards to Crumbling, where we'll try to find uh, some beachcombing action, I guess. What else are we going to do? I don't know, we should probably wait for the weather to get better, but... Whatever. Mac and cheese, nice. Pulled pork, there you go. First coffee, yeah. Cheers, I'm still sipping my first one. Well, that was embarrassing. Got the got the deer that ran again. It's like the third one in this run. Lunch coffee, cold and rainy. Oh, one of those cozy days, maybe. Anything right about now. Well, maybe we'll get some bass or salmon washing up on the shores, and we'll eat that. How about it? I'm curious, like how long term you could live on found fish between bleak, desolation, rumbling, coastal. Uh, also, there's beef jerky and chips that wash up too, so yeah, I, I'm definitely thinking beachcomb challenge. I, I don't know, I, I want to do desolation point spawn, but obviously that's not always possible. Let's uh, shoot this wolf. And then there may be one or two more. We'll get them too. Get rid of this bow maybe too. Second cup, nice. Yo, you're a few hours ahead, aren't you? In the prairies. All right, that might be it for wolves. And so now we can happily beach in peace. Happily ever after. And as soon as we can make a fire and like cook something, we will. Feel Nearly 11, nice. Yeah, a couple hours ahead. I'm 9.45. Yeah. You have no daylight savings? Oh, lucky ducks. How'd you swing that? Actually, daylight savings, like, we, we did get a lot more sunlight. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, I'm usually not too impressed, especially the spring daylight savings, because you lose an hour of sleep. See, look, it, it wanted to tell me I wasn't allowed, but it, it lets you go. It lets you go to the shore's edge. Marine flare chat. We got our first fire source. We got a marine flare. That's so cool. I'm not sure I can carry much more. We got a fire. And it was just laying there. It wasn't even in a container. Now that's interesting. Yeah, beachcombing OP. The real worst thing was working nights when you're gaining an hour is demoralizing. Oh. Oh, that, I didn't even think about that. Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> okay, let's go into the cave, cook our uh, fish, maybe we sleep, and then, you know, 
tomorrow we can actually see what we're doing when we go through Desolation Point. And this is like what we're doing now. We've just decided it. We're going beachcombing, chat. Beachcomb extraordinaire. Hey, Shutter, good to see you. Is there a time of day that's best for beachcombing? After a blizzard. So after the blizzard, you get a refresh of the beachcombing. Good to see you, Shutter. Um, so keep that in mind. If you have like a blizzard, then maybe that's the next thing you want to do is go beachcomb. So we got a blizzard and we were like, all right, time to leave. And we just started combing coastal and we'll go all the way through to desolation point and then back to coastal. And if there's another like and then we know like we're, we're OK on loot until the next blizzard. And then when there's another blizzard, we can go again. And that's the plan. Perfect. Oh, I've never been so hungry in my life. Well, look at us. We got a ruined, a ruined salmon or a small mouse bath. What? Small mouths, a small mouse bath. Exactly. I need some water too. Hey, DST, welcome in. Used to not pay SOT for the extra hour, so they added it to the next union contract. Good. Good on the union. Taking care of that. <laughs> You got paid the extra hour, but not as OT, yeah. Small house bath? What? <laughs> Small mouse bath, okay, thank you. I was like, what is that about? <laughs> I just said that, didn't I? I did say that. Mm. I'm digging the I'm digging the cappuccino chat. I, I I do want the I want the practice with the frother, but otherwise it's a very good cup of coffee. Very good. And check it out, we're getting a bunch of uh, lamp oil as well. Slow and steady. So we just got a marine flare, which to me is so cool, because now we know that fire starting's a thing. What am I doing carrying all this with me? Okay, no food poison, please. Look at that thing, it fills us up. It's amazing. Yeah, it looked a long sponsored stream went. Honestly, like, it's an older unit, it's really nice, but like, I just need to learn how to use the frother, that's it. It's, um, it gets really loud and scares me a bit. <laughs> Do you have a built-in grinder? No, it doesn't, it's, I'm just using my, um, Baratza. I love my, my, I love my grinder. I don't think I'll upgrade that ever again. Uh, okay, what are we doing? Should we sleep here tonight? Why not? Let's go boil some water. Sleep an hour. It should be warm in this cave. It's like plus two triangles before the fire. Nespresso is working as used to be a nice one. Yeah, I like I like the uh, the simplicity of the Nespresso. It's really neat. Okay, an hour left. Let's just sleep another hour out here, and then we'll see how warm is it back back. It is plus nine, so yeah, we can just happily ever after live our days out in caves. I think. And we don't even have the bear coat yet, so once we craft the bear coat, we'll be unstoppable. Your espresso maker is my favorite possession. It's probably the first thing I'd save in a fire. Yeah, exactly. Okay, let's um, let's still confirm that it's warm back here, and then just go to sleep. Feels like five degrees with the torch, so it's minus two. No, plus two. With the bedroll, it's plenty warm. So two hours, see what happens. Just trying to transmit a box in Blackrock, I can repair it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow, Dane, there's two that are outside this story. The the signal void story. So there is another one as well that you'll be able to find. Uh, not within the um, journal. That that doesn't listen to the journal. <laughs> Sorry, espresso maker. <laughs> oh, it's getting cold, chat. Feels like minus eight. One more hour if we wake up cold. Where? 
I don't know for certain, but if you if you um, do process of elimination, I'd think either Coastal Highway or Desolation Point. Coaster or Desolation. Oh, guess what, chat? We just got a blizzard. That means all the loot refreshed. <laughs> all the loot refreshed. So now we can go back. Wait, did I get fire start three? No way. We did. Oh, let's go. Um, so now we're great. But we could go back to Coastal, but we'll go do decision first. Next tail? Who knows, maybe. Blizzard's good news, yeah. Well, if you're in the right region, like if you're in Pleasant Valley, it's not good news. <laughs> but if you're hanging out in Beachcomb Maps. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you're hanging out here on. You know, close highway to desolation point definitely makes sense. Whoa, it's cold, chat. Holy, too cold in this fire needed. It's okay, we'll go to desolation. We'll grab like 20 coal, 40, 50 coal, whatever the heck we want. Just hang out. Hey, Fish, good to see you. Welcome in. Thank you, uh, Oro, for the sub. Coming at that 16 months, amazing. And thanks, my Crawfish out and Big Fish out. Last seen playing The Long Dark. Also uh, doing a lot of fun interloper shenanigans. Oh, let's just quickly pass a bit of time here. Get the heck out. Growl, welcome. Good to see you, Growl. Muskeg? Yeah, Muskeg's always a good time. Let's uh, bring with us a tea. And then grab some better torches, and we'll just walk. Uh, we'll walk forward, Desolation Point, and then back through Coastal and loot everything again. Let's go, chat. We'll just keep in mind that from this spot forward is new loot. We can already see it, but we'll get it later, because um, that's the way back route. 26 arrows, nice. That's great. I like making... 20 arrowheads and then, you know, usually I'll I'll make 10 to 15 arrows and then have a few ready for backup. Oh, we got something over here. Yep, peach coming. We're beachcombing, chat. You need to get a toolkit. Toolkit will help you out with that. Simple tools make the arrow crafting 45 minutes. Oh. Yeah, it does. The the blue toolkit is an hour 15 per arrow. The red is 45 minutes per arrow, so it's twice as fast. Anyone found those lockers locked? Oh, good question. I haven't. Uh, but we did big fish. We'd found a flare today, and we found a boat that you could like occupy. You could go onto the boat, open a door. There's lockers. It was really cool. So there are uh, there are some interesting stuff washing up. Yeah, that's what those toolkits are for, is speeding up arrows primarily. Like, you can do a few other things with them, like repair the hacksaw and, and some stuff. But yeah, for the most part, it's all about... It's all about... Uh, just making arrow arrows quicker. <laughs> I don't think I've found a lock locker. I don't think so. Let me up. Let me up here. Didn't hear done that. Love the boat. Yeah, the boat was really cool. Like, that was neat. The only thing is, like, it, it does disappear. So, I don't know. It'd be fun if it could, like, stick around for longer than one blizzard. You know, a little base on the ice. Even though you can't sleep in it and it's really not effective as a base, it's still neat. Okay, let's uh, drop coal here and we'll pick everything up. 
that we find in this cave. Mm, we'll take the leather, why not? But yeah, the new beachcomb situation is really neat. I really want to know like how frequent matches or flares are. So, you know, obviously the thought is is interloper spawn in one of the map one of the maps of the beach. So desolation point basically is the option. So spawn desolation point. How viable is it to get only fire starters from the beach? Or do we have to allow the Hibernia flare? That's the kind of question I have right now for the beachcomb challenge. Is it is it reasonable to think okay desolation point spawn, wait until you find a fire striker on the shores of desolation point, or not a striker uh, a lamp, not a lamp, <laughs> some sort of light source whether it be matches or a flare is it viable or not? Okay, Buckeye, what happens if you stay in the boat? Uh, well we we had a clip from Big Fish actually who's in chat and he was harvesting a deer during. And then a blizzard hit, and then while he was harvesting the deer, the deer changed into a corpse because the uh, blizzard shift happened. So I assume if we're on the boat and we we get a weather change, we just end up on the ice and the boat disappears. That's that's the only assumption I have based on Big Fish's clip. But yeah, we can't get out of here without a light source. It's just not possible. I think it just despawns under your feet. Things have changed while well, interacting in the state of the blizzard. Yeah, like what we saw from Fish's clip. That makes sense. I guess we could drag this back to Quonset. Hey, who knows? Maybe we'll get a moose on this map or something. Wait, we already have a moose. We have a moose side curing. I forgot. We dragged it all the way from Timberwolf Mountain. So we do get a satchel in like five days. That's awesome. I'm happy about that, chat. Just beachcomb stuff. I just want to separate it so it's a little bit more obvious that this is all here. Six coal, seven coal, just in case. You never know what happens out there. I don't even think we looted the number three mine. So let's go check out the beach. <laughs> Who cares about the mine chat? We're here for, oh wow, it's cold. Yikes, yikes. I'm chilled. You know what we could do? Here, let's do this. Let's go number three mine end of the map and then loot our way back out. That way we're not walking in and out again. How's that sound? And then we can loot a little through the mine and see if there's anything worth our time. Bath, a small mouse bath. You got it. Maybe we'll get another small mouth bath. Small mouth bath, I mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a good plan. I'm really digging the beach coming chat. Like, Hinterland's totally throwing a wrench in the works. Uh, you know, as far as people getting bored in the game, like, you can always just beachcomb now. It's plenty of fun beachcombing. Cycle through a few maps, check and, check and loot. Weather signs also would be interesting. It felt like there are more blizzards in coastal now. Interesting. I used to feel like Coastal, along with like maybe Milton, were one of the maps that had the least amount of blizzards. So if Hinterland tweaked it because it's like, you know, weather event, I wouldn't, I wouldn't blame them. It sounds like something they do, honestly. <laughs> bullying? Oh, come on now. I've been bullied. That's not bullying. <laughs> okay, we'll just grab this and uh, cook it up once we get out of the mine. Looks like it's going to be a nice day out. Now let's save the lamp. Waste matches. Eventually we'll have enough fish from beachcombing that will just fill the lamp up. Oh, 
Oh, matches. Yoink. Good, we have a pry bar on us. So I'm a little concerned. All right. We could go for the red toolkit. I don't think we have a red toolkit yet, honestly. So let's check the bridge where the bear is. See if we can snap up a red tool. Oh no, we did. We got it. We got we got like several beachcombing. I forgot. I forgot. We got lots of red tools beachcombing. So that's another thing. Beachcomb. Uh, I, I know Bash was mentioning this. I think beachcombing hasn't been netting scrap anymore. Like you don't find scrap on the beach, but you do find toolkits. So you know you can obviously tear up a toolkit for three scrap. So it's even better now. But it's interesting that they've changed that. Valid concern. I feel like this one happens at the same percent of the time. Every time I see a snowflake, honestly, anytime I see a snowflake, I just assume that means it's a blizzard. I'm a blizzards. Yeah. What can we beach comb at? Uh, what Pensa Pond? <laughs> Come on, little fire. Come you know, that's the thing is you need the coast, the coastal maps. So unless maybe they add like perseverance mills to it, what is that wolf scared of? Must be the bear. Inside those, yeah, uh, Strider. Um, we we were in one just earlier today. Oh, the bear's way down there. You know what, though? That's fine. That's fine. We'll just warm up here and then hit the beach. But yeah, Strider. Um, if you go back to the VOD like ten minutes ago, we were we were in one of those cool boats. And it's like there was a door, there was lockers we could loot, there was a fish in it. It was really neat. Acorns? Ready for burdock? Yeah, the acorns, like, I just ate them all that I found on this one when we were struggling, so we didn't get to make, make coffee or anything. What are we doing? Think, think, think. Oh, now we're light and lethal. Let's go uh, bother the bear. Is Muske to inlet a one-way trip? Yes, unless you have the rope deployed already in Bleak from the ravine down. So, like, you can enter the Bleak Inlet upper map from the ravine, and then you can deploy the rope and get down. But otherwise, you can't climb up and out. So I prefer to enter the map through... I, I prefer to enter the map through... Um... Hold on. <laughs> I prefer to enter the map through the ravine side. That way you don't have to worry about... other nonsense. Oh, he should see me after all that. I didn't want to be seen. Hello. Oh, he's not going to aggro because the bear's on me. That's interesting. Now he is because the bear's off me. We're running low on arrows now. 9% bow.
Yeah, but it's a dead end map otherwise, so it's like you can't go through Bleak Inlet to another map. You can only go in and out. Oh yeah, I don't know what Growl's talking about then. You can't get stuck in the inlet, no? What map would be like that? That'd be so poorly designed. I guess like the only places you can get stuck are the ravines, basically. But even then, they give you enough to let you out. Alright, we got a pallet. This is the start of our adventure. Cattail head, okay, nice. Pallet, nice. Oh, a uh, sapling, alright. It's looking good, chat, looking good. Ride the pallet? Yeah, right. And stick, okay. Leather. Fish. Nice. Rune. Small mouse. Bath. <laughs> it's okay. We'll take it. Take it in maybe the next bass we see, if, or salmon. We'll cook. And then we'll finish uh, Coastal Highway, and then we can worry about <laughs> crafting. By the time we're done, we'll get another blizzard, right? Ooh. Suitcase. Good chance at any any awesome clothing item. Basically, a jacket to uh, underwear or a ragged dress shirt. You can get visibility on things way off, like I see that in the distance there. New ice break sound, yeah, and the animation of the like a spider web dice is really cool too. Great work until then. Spray paint and uh pass. New beachcomb, a cure to your fear of using resources. <laughs> nice. Yeah, the beachcombing like is really neat for long-term files. You know, if you ever are worried about running out of anything, you can just sort of think, all right, well, if I run that, I'll just go beachcombing for it. It really is neat. Or like, say you go everywhere and you can't find underwear. Well, maybe just spend spend a couple weeks beachcombing and you'll get lucky and get a container that spawns you underwear. See, and now it stays there too, which is really cool. I don't know if like that will despawn eventually, but it's just neat that that's a thing. I'm also hopeful that if we get back to uh, Coastal Highway, we'll find that deer we shot. Saplings, cloth, scrap metal, uh, medicine, I think antibiotics, you know, are washing up on shore now. I, I definitely have found painkillers. But the fact that you can get matches or flares on loper is crazy no more relying on the meg lens for late game hey waffle mouse good to see you welcome in i hope you had a great raid playing some long dark nice have you had a chance to get into the uh new signal void tale yet or are you still working on um i guess uh Maybe you're playing the Trader Challenge? But welcome in Waffle, good to see you. Hope uh, everyone had a fun stream over there. And welcome in, I'm Wantons, we're beachcombing today. We are beachcombing. Like our life depends on it. Oh, you know another thing? We never went to the lighthouse when we came here the first time. So maybe we should go grab our stim. 
First things first. Gotta, gotta beach come. Zert, welcome in. Good to see you. Here, let's go um, light a fire by this deer, and then we'll cook our bass up and, and the venison. That way we're not feeling like we're starving to death. Crashed? Oh, I'm sorry your internet crashed, Waffle. Well, either way, Waffle, if you gotta go, I understand. Hopefully you can get that sorted. And welcome everyone, Brandon, welcome. Appreciate you. Uh, sweet, welcome in. <laughs> yeah, raid, raided out after crash. Uh, I've been there. Okay, let's just get this happening here. 10% torch. They reduce hammer spawns, move regular hunting rifles from spawning in those places. Oh, I haven't seen arrows on beach coming, but maybe on stalker and below that's happening. Yeah, Waffle, good to see you. And sorry about your internet troubles. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it's nothing too big a deal. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Okay, okay. Thanks for shouting Waffle out. Last seen playing some TLD. I was gonna say, Waffle, have you gotten a chance to play the new Signal Void Tale yet? Or are you holding holding off on that for a bit? But yeah, earlier, like almost at the beginning of the stream chat, we found a really cool beachcomb beachcomb structure, so to speak. <laughs> really exciting. Oh, we're tired. Maybe I should drink some coffee. Food poison? What's that noise? Not food poison, though. That's great. There's no way the bear followed me. It was a boat or that we could enter. There was doors. There was, um... Was that a doe? Like, what's over here? I hear something. I scaring me. You know what? That hurts the ocean making noises. Oh, yeah, we found a boat. A legit big boat. The one in the trailer. It was really cool. Alright, let's carry on the beachcomb. So we got the boat, you can actually o open doors on it, there's there's drawers and cupboards and stuff, it's really cool. Uh, I doubt it's it's there anymore because we had a blizzard, so I think it's despawned since. But yeah, tonight we'll go to uh, Lighthouse and we'll just sleep the Lighthouse tonight. Oh, look at all this gear chat, oh my goodness. So much stuff. So much stuff. We found a small boat, sir. Oh, shoot. <laughs> my hand wasn't on the controller. <laughs> I was scratching my head. We found a small boat, but then we also found the big boat. So like, there's like a little skiff and then there's like a legit fish boat. It's really cool. Uh, the bunkers are set spawns. Yeah, they are. So, like, for example, if you find the Hush River bunker, it's always going to be there. Uh, if you know where the Mystery Lake bunker is, it's always going to be there. And, of course, I'm not talking about the story bunkers. I'm talking about the uh, nine additional bunkers that spawn. Hey, Bash, welcome in. Good to see you. You haven't played it yet? You're clearly doing some Loper, trying to get a good run set up? Nice. Well, hopefully they add the signal void to Loper, and maybe by the time you're ready to go for it, it's an option for you. Very cool. But Bash, we found our first flare today. We found the big boat. So um, it's been it's been an exciting day for beachcombing. Just uh, just finding a flare makes me know that, you know, potentially a challenge based on beachcombing alone is possible. You need an Aurora to open it. The story ones, the story ones are set, yeah, but you need to activate the story mission and then repair the transmitter, get the quest, and then you need the transmitter to like unlock it. Un, un, whatever it. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Yeah. It was not where fish found it. Zerd, it's there. It's just hard to find. It's kind of like up in the hills around a corner. It's not really easy to see. It's 
stock up before they nerf it. Uh, well, honestly, they're probably going to nerf it, right? Especially, like, I know you'd mentioned the Wooltooks are, like, super prevalent. Like, you can Beachcomb for a Wooltook probably more than you can Beachcomb for anything else. And that's literally one of the strongest garments in the game you can find. So the fact that they give us Wooltooks aplenty to Beachcomb on Interloper... I don't know. What's that? Is that a deer corpse? If it is, I'll just grab the... Oh, no, it's a human corpse. We'll loot this, and then we'll go sleep. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's just let's just walk up. We'll leave it for tomorrow. Did you come for fishing book? Apparently, yeah, fishing books, but no other books yet. I found a book, but not a learned book. The 400 arrow, arrow bear dance. Yeah, that was entertaining. There's Bash's YouTube, folks. There's a lot of good content over there. Um, Bash has been exploring the new update very thoroughly. So if you are curious about, you know, beachcombing or mechanics, Bash has some knowledge. All right, we're going to goat up here. This is a really powerful goat because it bypasses the wolves that are at the front. But now that we're stinky, they're probably still going to come. But at least it puts us um, kind of above where the danger is. Just a couple spots you have to wiggle wiggle right there. And then you get up on this ledge and then you're golden. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> you can't touch me. Well, have you killed a regular wolf yet with the fire hardened arrows? Because I'm, I'm wondering if it's even, if it does damage or scares them or anything. If it's the case where you can kill uh, wolves or you know, anything other than rabbits with fire hardened arrows, I'd want to, I want to hear about that. <laughs> no, but I believe, yeah, I doubt it. Hitchland just said they they couldn't scare them, apparently. Like, maybe if you get a direct hit on a wolf, it scares it off. It sounds like the wolf followed me up here, but there's no way he's up here with me. He's right there. I would just leave him, I think. I don't want him to eat any of this, though. So let's just go in here. <laughs> Try killing those or scaring those gun destroyers instead. <laughs> Typical. I'm sure that's what the, the situation is, but you never know. 4%. Let's try it. Yeah, it's going roughly the same. New arrows just breaks when hitting them. Oh, really? It doesn't even scare them off? I thought for some reason in the trailer, I remember hearing Hinterland talk about how the hardened arrows like might scare a wolf. But that is that just them trolling? <laughs> are, you, are you doing a little trolling chat? Or Hinterland, I mean? One hour. We do have lots of water. Moldy venison raw. It's a loot. If it's only a chance to scare him, it's not worth the risk for sure. Wow, we have 50% torches, that's it? Oh my goodness. Let's look around up here. If you hit a wolf that didn't know you're there, maybe. Maybe it's like a bit of a jolt surprise, you know? That's gotta be the most morbid note in the game. 
I used to always read it, but now it just makes me sad. Ooh. Oh! Ragged thermal underwear in a container? We already have our second pair, but I'll hold those just in case. Hey, Epicron, welcome in, my friend. Welcome. Do you know when you shoot it near a wolf? It hasn't. Yeah, that's that's probably the mechanic at play. But still, that's a little misleading. I also tried it to intentionally miss them from afar. Like sometimes when you miss, the regulars run off. Not really. They just do nothing. Oh, what if you hit from afar and they don't expect your presence yet? Any difference? Oh, I was like, whoa! That was an accident. I am too tired to think straight. Too tired to think. I forgot to check, but I don't see a moose on the loose, so we're good. Ash, Timberwolf, Blackrock, Dan found their bunkers, new Ash rifle, and lantern? Nice. That's something I, uh, I didn't do, was get the lamp, the new lamp. Or the rifles on my run. I got the Vaughn's rifle. I got the Vaughn's rifle because I needed something to holster, you know? But I really enjoyed the Signal Void Tail. For those who are, like, on the fence, um, I did a Stalker run. Or a custom Stalker run. That was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. If you hit them, not aggro you, they just go about their day. Wow. That's rough. <laughs> Fresh. Let's just eat this here. We'll cook something up for tomorrow. Go sleep. Yeah, this pack is getting kind of heavy. Wait. It's a one minute piece of meat? Oh my goodness. What a waste of my life. Okay, let's just boil water. And then chat, don't let me forget this is here tomorrow, okay? Please. Please, chat. Like the Ash Carrier Rider vest. I like the uh the Vaughn's rifle just because it's light. Like I get it, the curator looks the best, but when you have a fully loaded uh Vaughn's rifle in the sap the the holster, it's really light, which I like. Makes you not feel as guilty about running that. One's rifle the most too. Yeah, it's 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 the handy one. Light and lethal. <clears throat> Can we do anything here? Oh, don't repair it. Harvest it. I'll maybe like leave the underwear here, but do one repair on them. Yeah, let's just hit these ones. Barb rifles get no love. I guess the barb rifle is heavier, right? So no one's interested in that. <laughs> Let's just do a few more chores here, why not? What else we got to do? Durability is not a big deal because it's cheap. One scrap repair. Yeah, it's true. If, if you're using the uh, mills, rifles are very easy to repair. You don't have to worry about doing the whole uh, cleaning kit for hours and hours at a time. Just one, one scrap later repairs it up really good. We might fail this because of darkness, but if not, easy. That was our cloth. One cloth left. Perfect. Curator can hit from so far. True. Like, especially if you're, like, you know, trying to shoot a moose from the top of Ash Canyon or something. Okay, get a little snooze. Hope no blizzard hits. Aurora. Let's go out there. Oh, we're out of water. Darn. Slowly fill our lamp up. Really like clean kits, not being on Gungoa. You can find them on custom looper loot. Sad times, yeah. When I did my Gungoa, I had to, like, basically add stalker loot just to make it work. 
do we even have leather? We don't. What are we what are we doing with it then? Seventeen birch bark, oh my goodness. We need to drop some of this food off somewhere. Maybe we'll just hit the bed rule. Makes you go to Bleaker B Rock, yeah, for sure. It's a nice option, too. Like, at least they let us have the choice. All right, let's go beachcomb and chat. Or no, let's just sleep a little bit longer. Chair, bed. And then we'll, uh, we'll have better visibility, more warmth. Okay. You picked up leather during beachcombing? Yeah, I did. I was going to repair something, but then I don't even have leather equipment to repair. So it's like, what's the point? <laughs> you know, what was I thinking? Look at that. We even boiled water and remembered we boiled water. I'm so good at this game, chat. So good at this game. Watch us get food poisoning from this moldy, moldy... Whatever it is. Ooh. Very nice, very good, okay. Wait, do we have our proper bow? We do. Wait a second. Well, that was a corpse yesterday. Does that mean it changed? There was a corpse here, I swear. Was there a blizzard last night? I wonder. Holy, look at all this stuff here. Tools, nice, look at that. I can leave them at like a workbench somewhere on the way. Oh, we got a boat. We got a boat chat. It's just the normal one, but it's still cool. It's exciting. Yikes. Yeah, and there's usually like a fish with the boat. Uh, that's what I've noticed. That's it, right? It's better than nothing. It's still, it's still neat. It's just... Yeah. <laughs> it leaves some to be desired. Okay, we're gonna waltz in the coastal with a bunch of meat on us, but hopefully we find that deer as well. And then we can have, uh, you know, a bunch of food for the bear coat. Hey, Cindy, I'm doing good. I am enjoying the beachcombing here. We're doing a run from desolation all the way through. It's been good so far. Yeah, the beachcombing is a really fun update. Wow, you could put a fire here and just go to town on cedar limbs. Three hours later, you have nine. Yeah, I'm doing well, I'm doing well. I'm really enjoying this vanilla interloper run. It's been fun just to see and explore the new loot. Ooh, wrong way. Wrong way. We left saplings here, but we don't need them. We have so many. Hey, Abraham, welcome in. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. We just finished a little beachcomb adventure. It's been good.
Maybe the Aurora, we reset them? No. Because it's like we had the corpse on the ground. Where did it go? Where did it go? Is that a high school and Captain Cindy's getting the crew together? Join in chat, you know he wants to. Do we want to bring a bunch of coal back? I don't know. If we're going to be carrying meat, we probably... I don't know. Like, do we need coal? <laughs> if we do, we can go to Cinder. It's close. There's tons of coal stockpiled there. It might be worthwhile to, like, drag that coal down the hill to log sort it. Just so it's a little more central. Hey, Massive, welcome in. But yeah, I'm still in the, like, no-goa mindset where I need all the coal, and I'm just- I don't need more than two coal on me at any time, I think, at this point. When I used to play Interloper, that was my loadout. Ten sticks, four coal. I never carried more fuel than that. Because, like, that's, you know, five hours of as hot a fire as you need. So... <laughs> Okay, what do we have for coal here? Eight? Let's um let's just go into the map with eight coal. More than enough. More than enough. Another thing we could try to do is memorize this mine, but there's so many spots to get, like, caught and turned around. It's not as easy as, like, a right-hand rule, because there's so much, so much stuff in the way. I'd have to, like, map it out and then, like, memorize the pathing to actually go through here. Because then it's like you hit the, you hit this part, and even if you get to here, it's hard to tell that it's time to crouch. Hey, Cindy with the heart rate monitor? All right, I can, I think I can do that. I can find it. Oh yeah, I charged it last night. This one. Heart rate shouldn't go too high during interloper. Hey you Sue, welcome in, good to see you. Hey Terminus, welcome. All right, should get this heart rate up here. Whew, 95, oh my goodness. All right. I was nervous, nervous to show my heart rate. Thank you uh, for the redeem, Sydney. it's awesome. And I will loot back down uh, all the ice of this map too, grumbling, just in case it's changed. And we should have killed all the wolves too. I think we're safe. Famous last words. Yeah, I'll, I don't think I could get through here in the dark. Um, maybe at noon, like when there's some light. That's the only way. But it's just too too many turns, dead ends, rocks to get stuck on. Wait, there's two crouches? No way. Ugh, there is two crouches. Or did I get turned around? Did I get turned around with a light source? There's no way. There's no way, Astrid. Don't you dare. So two crouches, that's... I didn't even know that. I've played this game for a long time. It's that or we legit got turned around. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Let's drop a couple cool here. And then if we need it, it's, it's here. It's close. Alright. Uh, we, well, yeah, let's just go to the beach. Why not? We'll go back to the beach. Go back to the beach, and uh, next chance we get, we'll cook these up. I'm not sure I can carry much more. And the thing is, is they're ruined, so we'll get them to 50%. 
And then it's like, do we risk eating them? Maybe. Not yet, though. We don't need to. We need to craft some more arrows, but the plan is now is coastal highway hunting for, for meat to support us. And then we craft a bear coat and maybe some more arrows. Play DLT for 14 hours and two days. Nice. Putting the time in. So uh, I take it you're enjoying the new content, Cindy? Are you giving, giving the single void, sig, sig, single? Signal void tail a try? Oh, there is a wolf chat. He's going up the hill. Let's cut him off down here on the ice. Uh oh, here we go. Blood loss. Ooh. Tough, tough son of a gun. See, that's why we, uh, that's why we don't do that in no go, uh, note mode, because even if you get a hit, sometimes you still get the struggle. It wasn't a clean shot, it was a little high, like it hit him on his back, but yeah, we don't like that one. Clothing okay? Oh. You too? Alright, alright, alright. Let's redeem ourselves. And as is tradition, we dropped a bow in its place. Good job, bow. Alright. That was better. We shot him in the face instead of the back end. So that's four wolves we killed on this map now. I'm curious if this will be looted or not, if we got a respawn or not. Because I think we did, but I don't remember a blizzard, so I'm curious. Search Frozen Corpse? Sorry, what? I got one beach homing and two in FA. You got yeah, I actually heard two other people say they got a Jersey Beach Coming and Coastal Highway in a briefcase. Um, I found jerseys kind of on my stalker run, not on the loper run yet. But yeah, apparently there's a good spot in Coastal Highway to beach come a jersey out of a suitcase. Every loper clothing except ear wraps is possible. Nice. And you got two other guaranteed ear wraps, I think, in the game still, so it's not the end of the world. Oh, we've been missing. Missing out in the loot chat. Let's try that again. Leave it, chat. I'm not getting hypothermia. It's not happening, okay? Is this a dead end? I don't think I've ever been over here before. Looks looks like a dead end to me. Do it. No. <laughs> no. I don't want hypothermia. That would ruin my day. Not today. No, that, that corpse had our uh, hockey jersey, probably. Right? Yeah, it seems. Isn't it cool? And the longer you stay on it, the bigger the spider webbing is. I used to make frittatas all the time when I used to eat eggs, much easier than the quiche. Oh, oh, okay. Cindy's talking about quiches. I'm like, what? Quiches, um, not so bad. I used to make them once in a while. But frittata sounds even easier. Go for it. Oh, no, chat. We're going to get stuck in a blizzard again. But we haven't looted at all. What is this? Did 
just that you should know, yeah. Well, now I know. I was like, that came out of left field. Okay, we got a pallet by the looks of things. Oh yeah, blizzard incoming chat, I can barely walk. Wow, another blizzard. It's like we haven't even finished looting the beach out the first time. Is that painkillers? Yeah. Again, I want to see antibiotics wash up, but we also saw um, antiseptic. So old man's beard is washing up, and again, that was another, you know, maybe, maybe issue for a long run. We ran out of it. The nice thing now is you really don't have to clear the beachcomb if you don't want to. You can just let... Yeah, that's like the fourth blizzard in three days. <laughs> we can't keep up. We can't keep up. Spray paint the danger zone? Yeah. I guess um, I should use the spray paint, but I, I just can't justify carrying it. It's so heavy. <laughs> Wait, what's over here? Is that another spot we can beachcomb? Old man spear washed up before. Oh, did it? Oh, interesting. Okay. Then there must have been some misconceptions out there because I remember hearing that it didn't wash up on beach before. And now, and that was like one of the limiting factors of a long run was infections. But again, how many infections do you need to get to literally ease up all the old man beer and antiseptic in the whole world? Too many. Oh wow, we're almost tired. Holy cow. Wow, I guess all that running we did. Reishi and antibiotics. Right, antibiotics, of course. That's what I was thinking then, not not um infection probably. Three hundred three hundred uh infection heals in the world? Yeah, I guess like the antiseptic is you get you get a few from each one, but you only get like five of those in the game. And then, yeah, true, the uh, old man's beard is pretty prevalent. All right, maybe we have a little sneaky fire somewhere. Warm up our warm up our uh, food. Head into the next map. Hey, Vita, welcome in. On, Good to see you. We're just leaving uh, Rumbling Highway. We've been doing beachcombing, aggressive beachcombing. I'm finding some good stuff, though. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Ruined. Runes. Okay. Just hang out here, warm up. Uh, we could eat or we could just take it with us. I don't know. It's one of those things because they're in low condition. We could get food poisoning and then while we backtrack to Harrison and sleep the night, I guess. All right, moldy salmon, let's go. Nice. Slow and steadily filling this lamp up. Thanks for looking, sir. Terza, welcome in. Good to see you. Welcome. Alright, let's get a couple good torches and get out of here. We'll take the one bass with us and uh, move on into the next map. 
only the best torches for us. We can be picky. 40, 40 or up, exactly. We don't waste our time on anything other than 40% torches. Alright, let's boogie. Maybe no blizzard, thankfully. It looks like we, uh, we caught the, uh, good part of the weather chains. Alright, now we want to find that deer we shot. If it's out there, great. If not, then no big deal. We'll find a different one. But in the meantime, let's go beachcomb. Let's beachcomb our way back to maybe log sort or even the beginning of the map. Maybe we see a dead deer somewhere. Be really nice. We do have lots of coffee. We could just start drinking coffees as well. Oh, this weather. I don't like it. I don't like it, chat. I might have to crash at Misanthrope. Nothing yet. Yeah, blizzard incoming. Dang. Well, <laughs> all we can do is keep keep looting. Eventually we'll stop and craft, I'm sure. In the meantime, this is fun. Let's just carry on. spray paint more shoes again i'm just like pulling these shoes over to uh grab in the future if we want them two percent wet it's crazy rune small mouth bath again There's a carcass over there, but is that our carcass or one that the game gave us? Holy fish, okay. Maybe we just eat ruined fish for the rest of the through run. Okay, we're so encumbered, chat. That's just a fire pit. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh no. Okay, we need to go like shed weight and sleep. This is silly. Be our dough there chat okay if that's the case we'll process this and then drag the meat uh into camp this is also not a deer is it i i don't know i can't tell i think it's a human That's not a deer. Oh well. Didn't check the bunker? Well, you can always go back for it, right? We're heading... This is ridiculous, chat. We gotta go back to base, maybe. Like, why are we so encumbered? What the heck? These weigh four kilos each? What the heck? Huh? 
I'm I'm carrying 16 to 20 kilos of bass right now. Holy cow. All right, you know what? Let's get them to the fishing hut and drop them there. This is this is ridiculous. Drop the fish? Yeah, I want to sue, but I don't want to drop him in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so I'm going to get them to the... Uh... Hey, Masika, good to see you. Thank you for the sub. I'm going to get them to the hut and we'll drop them there. And if there's a bear, then, well, we're in trouble. Ultimately, we need food and we have it. But thank you, Masika, for the sub. Good to have you. Thank you again for the uh... continued support of the channel. You're awesome. Hope all's well. We just got a big update for the Long Dark. There's a bunch of new mechanics, so we're checking it all out. But thanks to my car for shouting to seek out. Last scene playing Sons of the Forest. Nice. That was a lot of fun. Watching uh, watching the crew play through that one was a good time. So there's like a new DLC for the Long Dark, and there's some additional content. And uh, then there's some new mechanics for the base game as well. I had no idea. Flipping Calvin though, yeah. <laughs> Link to the moose video? Yeah, um... Exclamation point perfection is the edited one, slid. Exclamation point perfection will get you there. And that's the Trizak edit. But slid, good to see you, welcome. Alright, I'm expecting there to be a bear. Just like, right... Oh, hello. Okay, not, not a bear, but... Same, same thing. We're so low on arrows. Kelvin memes crack you up. <laughs> Look at the flowers, Kelvin. The, uh, it's really interesting to have an AI like that in a game where you can like, per you can just tell it to, to do stuff for you and send it, set and forget it. Like if you build enough, you know, Places to store sticks and logs, you can just put Calvin to work, which is really neat. Oh, our deer chat! Our deer! It's Destiny! He's right there! All we have to do is not get killed by the bear. Yeah, Kelvin, you can get him to harvest wood, you can get him to build structures for you. Pick up sticks and rocks, it's pretty cool. Cutting down player build- yeah, that's the thing, is if you if you try to build a treehouse and you ask Kelvin to go get wood, he'll cut down the tree that your treehouse is on. I don't know when we shot this bear. He's probably roaming around somewhere. Fave reaction vids. <laughs> Come on, Aster, we're almost there. If we even just get the meat here cooking, we harvest this deer, and then it's like s somewhere we can go grab food later when we are ready. <laughs> but let's get this deer. Our arrow should be here as well. It might be a little moldy because it's been two days, but we'll see. Don't worry, in about 20 minutes we'll get there, chat. What cooking level do we have? Cooking three, I think. We haven't been trying to get cooking five. Nice, nine kilos. Good stuff, chat, good stuff. Well, what we'll do is we'll cook the fish and we'll process the meat off the deer and that's that's it. Like, we don't need to drag it now. We can always come back for it later. Like, we're close enough to Quonset that it's easy for us to get.
one hour later. Perfect. Now we're talking. It's all processed. Uh, so now we leave it here or <laughs> take it with us. See what happens in this 30 minute period. Oh, the blizzard didn't hit yet. Fresh venison. Let's eat this. What's the highest calorie food item? Any difficulty? Probably fish, it seems. Yeah, the big fish from uh, episode 3 for sure. But no, the fish seem like you can get quite a bit. I got 2,000 and like. 12 calories out of a salmon before with level 5 fishing. You need the higher level fishing. But yeah, I've gotten some big fish that are not part of story mode. Alright chat, do we just carry this all to Quonset? What do you think? Walk in with a flare? Like we don't care? this away. This is where spray paint would be handy, right? Come on, I'm trying to make an arrow here, man. Oh my goodness, why is this so painfully hard? Maybe we go tomorrow after we sleep the night at Misanthrope. It's not a bad idea. And then we can just pick this up on the way. Feels like night is coming. So tired. Let's just get this done. Cook four, let's go. Can't even walk, chat. How much do we weigh? 59 kilos. Oh my goodness, that fish. This is the right idea. <laughs> okay, all I want to do is get to the hut and we'll drop it there because that's like a central location we can find again. Come on, Astrid, I believe. I believe. This is this is the perfect plan, chat. We have like a few days of food and we can come back out here and get it when we're not encumbered. Redeem coffee. We're out of coffee. I'm out of coffee now. Heck, if I was lighter I'd stim and run, but we aren't light. We are heavy. That moustache is going to be so nice to have. Fish is awesome, free fuel. Yeah, like on, on Interloper, you can get good fishing. Um, you, you just need to get out of like the first fishing levels. But once you get to like fishing three, it becomes a lot easier. 
on my 500 day loper run where I got fishing level 5, I was fishing like crazy at Bleak Inlet and I was getting, you know, 2000 calorie salmon. With this much gear. Hey, at least there's no predators. <laughs> Chat will get there so soon, don't worry. We're almost there. Yeah, beachcombing fishing is actually ridiculous, especially because you're only getting salmon and bass, so you're getting the larger... the larger fish. Idea of a sled filled with item carcasses, limbs, and such. Well, we have the uh, Travoy coming. So it's not quite a sled, but it's like a smaller version of a sled so that's yeah that's the idea elephant juices will maybe get the uh travoy and you can get like you know the ability to haul corpses or maybe extra meat or something i don't know i'm excited though because moments like this the travoy would be so strong uh it's faster than actual fishing yeah you might fish for 12 hours and get like half of what we just got walking here yeah, it's called the Travoy Elephant Juice. I don't know what the uh, makeup of it is, or if it's like a craftable item or a found item, but there is a teaser image on the Hinterland website. Uh, they did post a picture of it. It looks pretty cute. All right, chat. Oh my goodness. Let's eat this moldy bass here. So good. Now we can actually walk. Travoy. Uh, it's spelled T-R-A-V-O-I-S. Travoy. Travois. It's like a French French word. But yeah, uh, there's a picture of it. It basically looks like a triangle-shaped sled with some leather hides in the middle. Hey, Alex, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Thanks for hanging out today. Appreciate you. Welcome to the Grim Gang. I'll just go blue house tonight. Tomorrow morning we'll back out, grab our meat, and then sleep. Uh, or, like, fully rested. And then we can start our crafting. Has to be wood and meat, at least. Meet your bare uh, minimum expectation. Yeah, like, if we can haul, like, whatever we want, that'd be cool. But if it's, like, you can use this for only this thing, that might suck. But why don't think they'll do that to us? It'll probably be, like, there will be, like, an inventory slot and wait Did about say, that you have I to abide by it, but otherwise why not? Really do. Two bears? Yeah, I don't usually process bears unless I have cooking five. Not my priority. This is good though, so tomorrow we can grab the meat, Kwanzaa, bear coat, uh, what else are we going to make? Maybe some more arrows, and then we can either go back to beachcombing, or I kind of want to go to Bleak Inlet. I want to check Be Bleak Inlet Beachcomb. Be Bleak Inlet Beachcomb. That's a mouthful. The Bleak Inlet Beachcomb. Yeah, we'll try that next after we do our bear code here. Do I get back home? We'll warm up soon. Bleak combing, yeah. Like, I think there was seven spots behind the... <clears throat> lighthouse and then one or two towards the fishing hut, but maybe they've revamped the whole area So maybe it's a bit more generous now. Oh snap. Look at that. I don't I didn't know about that as a spawn Just random tools right there That's cool because that might be like a red tool kit as well All right, perfect well played well played I just want to check the bathrooms. Sometimes I leave the bathrooms un unlooted. Easy water, Chad. Easy water. I kind of could use some cloth. Let's go ahead and grab a little. I think we do need some for the bear coat. I actually don't know. It's the bear bed rule you need cloth for, maybe. chat we'll sleep and then tomorrow we'll go grab that meat that we left it'll all be good good day today day for astrid and then we'll power craft the bear code 
make sure that that's quality. Hey, Elephant Juice, thank you for the sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate the support. Oh no, is this another lizard? Maybe not. Either way, if it is, we gotta go loot again, all the beachcombing. Okay. Let's shed weight here, and then we'll go grab uh, whatever we can. Not the mitts, Astrid. I hate that when it does that to you. I want I want it by weight, but then it then it drops things. You know what I mean? So it doesn't really work for me. We're still not even at 20 kilos, this is crazy chat. What do we weigh? What, what's so heavy? The clothing is eight. The food, the, yeah, the cattails. All right, fine, we'll drop the cattails. What a mess. All right, it's fine. We'll come back to that later and clean it up. Day out, gorgeous day. Nice, okay, this is good. Hey, thank you for the 14 months, Elephant Juice. I really do appreciate the support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And now we'll have a bunch of meat lined up for our craft session. Make things a little bit easier on ourselves. Hey, hey Peter, welcome in. Great to see you, my friend, welcome. How is the uh, signal void treating you? Have you finished the missions yet? And thanks, Mycroft, for shouting Peter. Also playing a lot of TLD, folks. Go check it out. Always a good time over there. We can still sprint chat. We're still fast. Just for safety. I couldn't repair all yet. Aww. Well, hopefully you can uh, get back to it and finish it up. I didn't repair the two bonus transmitters. What I probably want to do is go back to that file later on and replay it. Couldn't play that much the last two days. Oh, no worries. Well, hope you have a bit more time on your hands soon and you can put your feet up, relax a bit, maybe get in some TLD. All right, we killed the bear not too long ago. So, oh, cue the wolves. Gotta be more. Yep. We're gonna need new arrows, chat. We got like two left now. They're all broken. But I wouldn't mind cleaning out all these critters. You know, make this place a bit safer feeling. Is there a moose on the loose? That would be so good. Mm -hmm. 
No moose. Okay. Feels like three degrees with the torch. I feel like we should break up some pallets, you know? Just sit here and bust pallets all day. Is this crazy? Uh, it's starting to blizzard. Let's just get our stuff and, and think about crafting, and then if we need to, that's a great activity. Kill some time. On our trappers for three days, waiting for the moose to spot in. Oh, yeah, sometimes like when you're waiting for the moose, it just never shows. I like to just travel um, to the next spot, check, then cycle back later on. All right, get ready, chat. We have literally a thousand things to pick up here. We're going to be a minute. I should have put this in a container, but you know me. It's too much thinking. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff. This was so I could do the meat run. Okay. Perfect. Let's go. Wait, why are we, um, why have we got an injury? Frostbite risk? Oh, right, our gloves. Whoops. That always happens to me. No, we're gonna go crafting now. As long as we have enough water, I say that's the play. That or we just sit here and break up pallets. Two hours later. Yeah, no, no worries. Now we have a bunch of great reclaimed in case a uh, firecraft session has to happen. Moldy. I'll eat this stuff first. Nice, no food poison. Love to see it. Okay, we're good, chat. Now we can start playing the game. We have some saplings. 21 in here. Holy cow. Hey, Paisu. Got a gift of sub from Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you so much, Sarah. Appreciate your support and enjoy that. Paisu, that is one month of ad free viewing. And you also get a bunch of fun emotes to play with. Good stuff. Thank you again. Okay, moose side just 50%. Let's, uh, let's do the bear coat, right? Bear bedroll is just not something we need right now. We're kind of low on water, unfortunately. <laughs> Darn it. Tonight we'll craft water while we sleep. Bear skin coat only gonna take 39 hours. Aurora night? Aurora night? All right, let's go outside and we will make uh, make a fire and just boil water and sleep. Did you get crackers, beach coming? Mm, no, we got beef jerky and cracker, or sorry, <laughs> beef jerky and ketchup chips. We also got a blue flare. We got uh, lots of clothing, un or not underwear, uh, wool toque, sweaters, jackets, socks, boots. Like there's so much good stuff beach coming. We found a boat that you could enter, and like there was doors and stuff to open. Oh, I kind of wish we had two pots now, chat. Two pots for the uh, double double water action. Hmm. That's okay. We're thirty-seven kilos. Not bad. Ok, 
Okay, let's go over there and uh, do some cooking, do some water, sleep. All right, and this is all about preemptive cabin fever. So we're just going to spend time outside because it makes it easier moving forward. We don't have to worry as much about getting cabin fever risk because we're crafting inside all day, sleeping all all night inside. If we can split it up a bit and do some outdoor stuff at night or during the day, then we don't have to worry about cabin fever risk or cabin fever. That's my thing. I just really don't like cabin fever, so I try my best to avoid it, avoid even getting it. Maybe while we're sleeping out here, we see moose. We'll do two hours water, two hours water, until it's that's all we can do. And that's like the thing, if we get cold, all of a sudden the fire goes out, you know, two hours of cold damage is gonna be huge, but we're actually pretty warm in this vehicle without the fire. Okay, let's see here. How uh, how crazy can we get? Hour 57? Yeah, let's go for it. Just keep doing this until the night's over, there's an aurora, or we get bored. But yeah, if there's an aurora, we stop. You made your first coffee? Nice. Acorn coffee for the win. What was that? We, we lost the wolf mid Awu. But yeah, this is what I always do when I craft a Quonset, especially if I'm doing like bear coat, bear bed roll, or like all my deer gear. You know, it's just really, really nice to be able to sleep out here and get water while you sleep. And then you can just not even think about cabin fever. Almost morning. Let's go another hour. Then we should be full rest, ready to rock. Good stuff. I'll save the uh, risky meat for tonight. Bad water, yeah. Okay, good stuff, chat. Let's go craft our little heart out. I'll leave this fuel here again, in case we come back for it. And now this is the craft session. All right, bear coat time. This bear coat and then we can go to bleak. That's the plan so far, I think, today. This pack is getting kind of heavy. It's kind of cute. Maybe we should grab that hammer and crush some acorns later. 27 hours still? Oh my goodness, this takes so long. Maybe we get a roar tonight. Otherwise, let's just go sleep in the truck. We have enough water. Do 
21 hours left. Okay. Tidy space is a happy space, exactly. Let's just look around here. I want to see what we have. So, let's grab some of this stuff. Okay, so we have lighters. Okay, let's just put some more like stuff in here. Layers. We can keep the leather and the sewing kits and the cloth. I like that. Tool. Astrid, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. The arrow shafts and the heads could go in there, but we'll save them for now. Okay, it's better. Feeling good. I guess we'd drop some food too, but... Wait, what's that deer hide doing on us? Is that fresh? Cured, okay. Why do we have this? Oh, I know why. We're gonna put all the cured stuff away. I'm trying to keep things nice and neat, you know? Okay, we do have some bad food on the ground. So that can be our, like, questionable decisions pile. Also, the teas need to get dumped. There's so many on us. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Okay. And then we can drop off. We need more bandages. Yikes. It's not enough room. Come on. Okay, so the big hides go in this one, and the guts go in this one, and then we'll put the uh, arrow stuff in this one. Or not. Goodness. Okay. Tidy enough. I guess we could read while we're outside, eventually. Let's just go out there. Nice. So we got 67 on that moose. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. I like it. You're also working on a bear coat? Yeah, I love, love the bear coat. We'll get some more arrows too, but that's really all we need to craft is the coat arrows. Alright, let's eat the questionable fish. And then if we get food poisoning, we just sleep inside tonight. Not, not a big deal. And see, we're actually warm out here. So even though it's like looking pretty nasty, I'll just sleep out here a few hours at a time. Feels like minus two. Shouldn't be, shouldn't be a big deal in the bed rule. If it blizzards, maybe. Then we'll just go inside. But this is us mitigating cabin fever risk from ever happening. Might get cold here. But three hours outside is three hours against our cabin fever building up. Alright, and now we sleep inside. And keep in mind, new beach coming. So maybe that's what we do tomorrow. Again, we'll sleep a small amount of time just in case there's an aurora. Three hours. I doubt we'll go a blizzard right into an aurora. Three night trophy. Oh, like spending three nights outside? Nice. I 
Just want to see if there's a moose out there. Nope. Okay, let's craft. The heck am I? There we go. Bearskin coat. Oh, we dropped everything off, I guess. Where'd I put all the things I needed? Okay. We'll do. I haven't, no. I, I think I might have watched a bit of that game, but I haven't seen enough content to make a judgment on it. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll sharpen the knife today, too. There's light? No. Hardly. Oh, you know what? Sharpen the knife while you're waiting. Smart. You're smart. Ooh, 0 0.1 liter left in that thing. Yikes. Driveway will be nice. Yeah, it'll be a good quality of life adjustment. I love crafting the coat in Timberwolf. Craft all day without sleeping and recover in a cave. Bear coat takes forever, yeah. It is um, a chore, but it's pretty powerful, so I don't mind. Especially when you got like other things you can do. But when you just do nothing but crafting, it can be a little dull. We'll get a good 12 hours in. Go back outside, sleep. Only 14 hours, Chad, we're so close. Go eat something. Ooh. So no moose. We'll just have enough food for like this perfect craft session and then we can go hunting elsewhere. Okay, Aurora Knight? We're Odin Aurora Knight. Dang it. Alright, no Aurora. Let's get out of here and uh, let's just sleep in the car again. Hey, thanks for following. Uh, Squizgar, welcome in. Sorry if I'm butchering your name. Welcome in. We're just crapped in the bear coat and Quonset, sleeping in the car at night. Just living the dream. Living the dream. Yeah, this is just how we do it. Craft during day, sleep outside at night. If it's too cold, have a fire and sleep outside. It's just, um, it's my preferred technique if I'm uh, doing indoor crafting for a ton of time. You know, even if it's just three, five hours a day, that's gonna be enough to maybe offset the cabin fever. sleep inside. Well, that was a weird howl? How would that happen during a blizzard? What was that, chat? That was strange.
hit wake up craft finish that coat and then we'll do arrows we need we need arrows again sharpen up the knife because it's in rough shape from the crafting sessions hey red good to see you uh it's saturday today yeah it feels like sunday but I'm having a good Saturday so far. We're just uh, doing the whole beachcombing sessions in Coastal, and uh, we just got a new we just got a new blizzard, so we can always go back and do some more beachcombing. But in the meantime, let's finish the bear coat. Drop the Mackinac here. Thanks, Squiz. Good to see you. Welcome. Bear coat time. Finish this today, chat. Then we'll make arrows, and then we'll go to bleed. I think that's the play. Maybe we'll do one more cruise through the beaches of uh, Coastal. All right, let's throw that, throw that code on. So 24, 12, 41, 57 versus 24, 9, 31, 57. What? 24, 9, 31, 57 versus 24, 12, 41, 57. So it's definitely better with the bear on the outer layer. 24, 12, 24, 9. Yeah, you get way more windproof. I just kind of wanted the Mackinac on the outer layer, but it, this is fine. This is fine. Buckeye Giftness sub, Squeeze, congrats, you got a sub to the channel. You could get a bunch of fun emotes, no ads now. Awesome. Thank you again uh, for the support, Buckeye. That's really generous. Appreciate you. How's our clothing? 92, 98, 85. We could do the rabbit repair. And then let's grab some birch saplings. Make some shafts, make some arrows, and then we'll leave. No challenge, just survive. That's right. That's it. That's all. Just have fun, don't die. Thanks again, Buckeye. I really do appreciate really do appreciate the generosity. Eight, nine, twelve arrows we can make, okay. Wow. Let's go with a uh, five. And you know what, we'll go to Bleak and enter through Ravine and take our sweet time getting down. But I kind of want to go beachcombing right now. Is that is that crazy? <laughs> Let's just make sure we have good inventory. All right, why don't we bring a maple with us? One cured maple, another marine flare. I like that, two marine flares to start. Oh, you know what else we want? Our, our birch barks. Yeah, let's take all those back. Cattails. I think we'll be okay without him. All right, chat, we're going to go do another beachcomb session, and then we'll head into Bleak. But I'm first going to take a quick break and just stretch my legs and get uh, get ready for the next adventure. All right, so stay tuned for a couple minutes, and I'll run some clips. Thanks, everyone, for hanging out. You're awesome. BRB. Get your charcoal out. Let's do this, folks. Maps! Oh, oh my oh. god! <sighs> 212! Oh, 212! We did it! We did it! Go to sleep! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> yes! Oh my god.
What the frick? Okay, here we go. <gasps> hype, hype, hype. Get your hype, hype, hype. Yes! <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Quit. Quit. <gasps> what was that? Seriously. 3% condition, 30 days. I got I'm... coffee. This... this is serious. All right. Okay. I can't see. I'm gonna need some first aid soon. That was interesting, actually. I don't recall having seen that animation before. What kind of first aid does she need? Oh, look, a maple. Did we hurt ourselves? Ah, oh, we're fine. Just a couple, couple sprints. <laughs> Guys, I don't know. I don't know uh, about this. That was so funny for me. Oh. <sighs> that was too funny. I was like, oh, he's sleeping. Now's my chance. There's no single part of me that thought, oh, this isn't fair. <laughs> we have to wait. Nope. Not even, not even a single moment's hesitation. Well, Lily, the problem is I don't really want to process this guy and we don't have cooking five so that's the thing is if i did want to eat him ah uh, we just couldn't actually <gasps> oh gosh no 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 it said three but oh good the frick ah. <laughs> okay okay <laughs> oh god Oh, he needed four bears, not three. He wasn't dead yet. Yeah, like when she's looting through a drawer and you hear all the rustling sounds of, of things being shifted around. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Where did he come from? What the frick? <laughs> now we got a blizzard bear? Oh, for get out of here, ones. What the hell? <laughs> Out of here. Astrid knows what's going on here. She can, she can catch these fish. Oh boy, I tell you what. <laughs> fishing, guys. I've never had this much success fishing. It's literally insane. <laughs> I just don't know how. It's crazy. Oh, triple cohos. Back to. Sorry, I'm trying to fix this stupid heart rate monitor. It just keeps disconnecting when I go downstairs, which is really annoying. Just trying to find some way to make it consistent. Sorry, Chad, give me a moment. Here, I'll put the BRB screen back. Should be it? Yeah, there we go. All right, <clears throat> thanks for your patience. You know what I just realized? We can't leave. We can't leave yet. 
well, we can go leave, but we have to come back 86%. So 2.4 days left. That's some math right there, chat. Did you see how quick that math was? Oh, so good. You know what? We'll just like maybe build another bow to 99, more arrows, and then we'll uh, do some beachcomb runs for that two day period. Right? Why not? And then we'll leave with a satchel, and Bleak Inlet will be that much easier. So since we're going to spend a few more days here, we might as well go shoot shoot some deer. Or wolves. We'll shoot everything that moves, how about? Make this place safe, so that way when we come back here, and we've got a bunch of meat. It won't be as scary. All right, let's just go to the end of the map. Each come. If we find some uh, venison, we'll shoot it. Otherwise, this is a great way to kill two days. We got the bear coat chat. Oh, look at us. We don't have... What do you think? Should I craft a rabbit hat? Is it going to make a difference? 0.5 wind chill? I honestly don't think I, I want to. Because <laughs> the rabbits are annoying. It means, like, you need to repair them quite frequently. They're, like, the most... Uh, or the least durable item. What's your favorite clothes on long runs? Two bear coats, or is it too heavy? Honestly, like, right now, we're at 24 plus 12. Which is pretty good. Like, that's, that's almost warm enough to get me through anything. But... I, I usually do craft two fur coats because, you know, after day 50, it's pretty brutal. So double bear coat or bear coat wolf coat is nice. Wolf coat's a bit lighter. Uh, it's lighter than the moose coat and warmer than the moose coat. The moose coat has way better defense and waterproofness, but I still prefer like double bear coat and then probably bear coat wolf coat and then just bear coat Mackinac. This, this setup here we have is is pretty good combat pants deer pants deer boots double undies wool sweater mackinac with bear coat we're plenty strong we're, we're definitely able to take on late game at, at this point but past day 50 we might we might want that double bear coat if we go into as I do if we go into forsaken airfield we'll probably want the double bear coat now there's an option to throw leather. Yeah, the leather jacket. I actually kind of want to go get that leather jacket. Oh, there's a bear. I want to go over here and beach comb past him. Bear coats are still really good, yeah. Like, you can't, you can't go wrong with double bear coat. It just means you're going to be heavy. But who cares? You'll be warm. <laughs> you can slow walk your way anywhere. All right, chat, in case you missed it, there's been a huge beachcomb update, so that's pretty much all we're thinking about right now. I like bear coat Mackinac combo. Yeah, honestly, like, this is a good build for pre-day 50, but then maybe day 50, I start thinking about the second coat. But for now, this is minus the satchel. We'll, we'll swap this with the satchel. This is my preferred loadout, I'd say. And then past day 50, maybe another bear coat. Maybe we shouldn't sprint around so much, we're kind of low on energy. We do have lots of coffee. So we'd always just stop, make a fire, drink some coffee. Alright, I'm gonna go head out into the ice now. Yeah, we earned it. Let's have a little nighttime coffee. And yeah, we're killing two and a half days for the moose satchel. Cat's yelling at me. Hey, Grim. I just fed him, so he's fine. He's fine. Don't listen. Look at that, just wasting a coffee. 
crazy. Yeah, again, like I was saying earlier, I do I do think I should carry spray paint and mark like the beginning of the beachcomb, the end of the beachcomb, different sp spots for spawns, that sort of thing. It wouldn't hurt. And we did get a blizzard last night, I think. So we're we're due for fresh loot. Is that bear boat clip post? It's pre-DLC. Yeah, that is from a while ago. That's like early on Ash Canyon days. What's this we have here? Oh. Yeah, again, like beachcombing hides and guts and food like this is crazy. We don't need it though. Graham, buddy, what are you doing, man? Okay. You can come see me, I guess. No, I don't want to wash my hands after. It's so furry. Cat's here, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna let him chill. He can hang out beside me. He needs a brush. Corpse. Oh, whoops. Yeah, don't get too excited. You saw the list? Yeah, Bash, I saw that list too. You posted it on the Reddit. Um, we found a blue flare today. So that was probably the rarest thing we found so far. What else? Good clothing. Lots of saplings. Grim, stop, bud. You're fine. Just chill. What else? Tools. Yeah, honestly, I'm, I'm waiting for the matches. I want those matches. Grim, don't you dare turn my computer off. I see you looking at that power button. Flare shells? I haven't found flare shells or an improvised knife. I don't know if Bash found anything like that either. I think Bash's list was really complete. It was like tons of clothing, um, all the fuel types, the meat types, the fish, <clears throat> the types of clothing, flares, fishing books, but no other learned books. You you found some rare items, Bash? Like what? Like like an improvised knife? <laughs> Could you imagine? Either way, we gonna struck out for beach coming on that run. Just a hundred bits of data. Gotcha. All right, this is where the boat was last time. No boat, but we'll check the check the spawns. Corpsicle. Green tea jerry can and some interesting finds since then. Ooh, green tea, eh? Herbal tea and a jerry can. Was the jerry can full? Dead bodies wash up on the shore, I know, eh? Well, Graham, what are you doing, man? You you don't want to actually come up here. There's no room. There's literally no room. There isn't. Where are you going to fit? <sighs> this cat. So cute, but he's just gigantic. Where am I going to put him? Enough room. All right, say hi to Grim, folks. He's uh, hurting for some attention, apparently. Just bored. Yeah, Big Fish is saying like the corpses, backpacks, lockers could just be like any RNG loot, basically, right? All right, Grim. That's it. Ugh. 
Okay, sorry about that chat. A little uh, detour, sidetrack. Ingram's here. <laughs> we do not have cat grass, yeah. Well, I actually am meaning to grow some cat grass, but I forgot to plant it. So maybe I should do that later today. Ooh, clear night. Aurora, maybe. Wow, that's thin. It's right here, eh? Really close. Again, like to, to mark that with uh, spray paint would be smart. Well, the problem is, is the way I, I have a desk that's got like like a U shape. So I, I'm tucked into the desk and there's like two inches between my lap and the underside of the desk. So yeah, he just there's just nowhere for him to fit. <laughs> he's, he's a big cat, too. He's not like in, he's not overweight. He's just huge. This will come in handy. The lockers never seem to be locked. Lock, locked lockers have a better loot table. Interesting. Yeah, Fish was mentioning that earlier. No lockers that they found are locked, so that could be a thing. This is fine. What we'll do is we'll just walk back via, you know, log sort deer and do some hunting. I've just been like kind of low-key collecting some of the stuff, but not really. Again, like how much fur and leather and stuff do you need? All these items, no pry bars, fire logs. Serpent crackers though? Wait, really? Has someone seen serpent crackers? I've seen uh, chips and beef jerky. Krim's fine. He just like wants some more attention than I could give right now. <laughs> I'll play with him later. I'll give him all the cuddles. He'll just find a spot to sit and chill out. He'll be fine. Is this a backpack? Oh. Oh, that's... we found that. We found that before. And it's nice to know it didn't clear that because I just left it like kind of by the shore. Double serps on corpses is a thing? Ah, I see. Containers only. Okay, so it's like the RNG factor applies for food items in containers. It's good to know. Oh, here's all this stuff. All the goodies. Suitcase. All right, what clothing do we get? Sport vest. Okay, just more cloth. Again, so much cloth now washing up on the beach. Now the question is, is that the last location? Probably. Yeah, let's go back. Okay. Let's head back. Dusting sulfur and stub remover. There you go. So potential gunpowder. Again, like, it's not necessarily infinite if it takes 100 blizzards to find, like, the ingredients for one can of gunpowder, but it is, like, pretty close. <laughs> if you're patient enough, anything's possible now. Wonder if I, can drop any of this gear. I guess we could drop some of the fuel we found at fish camp and then carry on. Yeah, we haven't had to warm up. This bear coat's good. <clears throat> oh, there's a deer right there. I didn't even see him. Finally, 
Finally, chat. We actually managed a kill shot. It's like an hour 12 or hour 30. The carcass harvest. Oh, it's an hour to quarter it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's something we can handle, I think. Found a plane crash in Coastal Highway? What? No, I haven't. Wow, Dane, spoilers. <laughs> you should be like, hey, once have you found a really neat new thing in Coastal Highway? And then I'd be like, no. <laughs> wow, Dane. No, we haven't really looked around too much. We were going to map. Actually, we did map. I should check my map. Maybe on. it's on my map. Oh, come on, man. That didn't work. 85%, what's going on? You thought everyone knew about them? No, no, definitely not. It's not something I've heard about before. Come on, little fire. Come on. I found a plane crash in another map. Okay, oh, what is work. going on? Do we have something else we can use? A stick. Yeah, we'll spend another couple days here, so who knows, maybe we run into it. <sighs> Two kilos even. Perfect. Let's grab both of those. You found it looking for the bunker. I don't think there's a bunker in Coastal Highway. I could be wrong, though. I've been known to be wrong. No bunker in Coastal. Yeah, Fish is the bunker, the bunker expert here. Yeah, Fish put a lot of time putting, uh, putting forward a list of bunkers and bunker locations. So if you're interested, there is a YouTube series Fish has with all the uh, locations kind of lined up really nicely. Got a little water, we might as well fill our belly. Will isn't the only unfortunate pilot, apparently not. Yeah, like I know of at least one other plane crash location. So who knows, maybe there's plenty now. Bunker spawn, now been ransacked. Yeah, like there's um, no outing, there's no there's no bunker in Coastal Highway. Unless um Kimmy found a tenth one. The bunker locations are plug your ears if you don't want to hear this. Hush River Valley, Forlorn Muskeg, Bleak Inlet, Mystery Lake, Pleasant Valley, Timberwolf Mountain, Ash Canyon, Black Rock, and then the last one. Where's the last one? Mountain Town. Man, rest soon. I'm gonna yeah, there's nine. Plane crash in Mountain Town. There is indeed a plane crash in Mountain Town. All right, let's get this meat to uh, wherever we're going, I guess. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Yeah, yeah. Odds are they're empty on Loper. They're all empty on Loper, yeah, but you might get like something like Fish said he found matches and a hammer in one. So like maybe you get a chance at some loot. Oh, shoot. Yeah, maybe you get a chance at some good loot. But it's not guaranteed. <sighs> it's 
saw hammer, saw Kimmy get matches. He told me about flare shells also. Yeah, see, all the bunkers we've been in had nothing. <laughs> Literally just cardboard. It's still fun. Yeah, it's like now there's one in Hush River. It's kind of out of the way, but, you know, that was a map that didn't have any in... Oh my goodness. I was like, I wonder if we'll run into the bear. That map didn't have any indoor structures, right? So now you can go to Hush River and find a, a bear, or flare. <laughs> you can find a bed. It scared me. Flare shells are now more rare. Maybe the trader's hoarding them. Yeah, like, I can't find a flare gun for the life of me, let alone flare shells. All right, let's sleep here tonight. Shoot the bear tomorrow if we want. Hey, welcome, welcome in. You had a question, the transceiver thing, does the gauge point in the direction of the bunker cache? Yes, Nog, so basically there's two settings. There's green, sorry, blue and like orange. Orange is the cache location, and when you get close enough, it, when the bar is like all the way to the one side, that means like you're right, you're going in the right direction. When it starts to slip, that means you're straying off course. When it starts to beep really fast, that means you're close. And then the blue one is for the bunkers. Hey, LD, welcome in. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully that answers your question. Let me know if, uh, if you're still confused. But yeah, if, you're, if you've got the indicator all the way to the right, that means you're going in the right direction. Carry on. And then when you hear beeping, that means you're getting close. So start looking at the ground. But hope your lunch is going well, LD. It's always great to see you. Welcome. Welcome on in. Alright, let's head out, see if that bear's there, get our meat and go. Hey, we got a few kilos, let's drag it back. Hey, Sue, thanks for the hydrate, appreciate that. Let me see if I can get my water here, cheers. So we're hauling back like a couple days of food and what we'll do is just craft and get more arrows built. Got a thin wool, nice. Oh, so you got it via the map. That's what I was wondering if mapping gives you, you know, is the plane on this map? I don't see it. <laughs> we, we had weird stuff going on like this, this, all this stuff. Supply cache and deer? We couldn't access this. It was out of bounds. So I don't see a plane crash. The patch, ah, yeah, but I was wondering if the, if the plane is visible. That's what I was curious about. I know, Malcolm. I know. <laughs> don't worry. You don't have to explain to me. I get it. You did say you're in Hush River. I'm in Coastal Highway. But... Doesn't mean I'm, I still can't look for things on the map. No worries. It happens. It happens. There's always like three deer over this here, so we might we might shoot another one. Not really in a rush, but we can. But yeah, the flare shells. There's like one guaranteed flare shell in the Forsaken Airfield. Are there any others? <laughs> like, are there any other flare shells anywhere? Yeah, it could be the rarest thing now in Moper.
Ooh, we haven't been here yet. See, we got the instant search. How? How do we get that? Why? I want to know. Who causes that? Looks like we do have a deer out here. No Meglins yet. Uh, we probably should have found one by now, but again, we don't really need it. We got a lot of matches, air strikers, that sort of thing. What a beautiful day here. No blizzard in sight. Maybe we don't even need to shoot this deer. Maybe the moose is up. Let's leave it. Let's go back to Quonset. And, uh... Let's we'll see what we see. I love there for there to be a moose, but... <clears throat> there's still a bear up at Misanthropes, so maybe not. Yeah, look how beautiful the day is. That's why I was saying Meglens. If we had one, it'd be a good opportunity. Oh, I knew it. What, what were you thinking, Astrid? What were you thinking? Get him! Oh, that was maybe close. Why? Why did we do this? Okay, he's running to Quonset. Maybe it was the perfect plan. The perfect plan, chat. We killed all the wolves over there, so we can just maybe uh, get lucky. Yeah, he's going straight to Kwanzaa. It's, it's going to happen for us, Chad, I believe. I can see him heading to the blue house right now. What about this? Can we just like sit here and pass time for an hour and he'll die? Kathump. Hopefully. I don't know if that's still a strat, but if he froze in place and died, that'd be perfect. Just en route to my house. Did a last minute little ziggy zaggy on me. Ooh. All right, let's go find our deer. The deer that better be here. If not, no big deal. We have food on us to live the rest of the time for our satchel, and then we can leave in style. Go to Bleak Inlet with the with the full kit. Looking for the Milton Tail Bunker and supporting strong to the Hush River Transition. There's no Milton Tail Bunker. Read your journal, Nog. It should say something about another map once you activate the Milton the Milton Tower. So check your journal on the um Samo Void quest and see what your prompt is. And that should that should explain it for you. Oh the deer did die right here, chat. Oh, our destiny is complete. I'm not going to quarter it because it's going to end up in the wall, won't it? Let's just grab the meat. I'm not sure I'm hearing much more. Check your objectives. Yeah, no, you're fine, Nog. It's um literally. I don't want to spoil it, but Milton's Milton's not the the place you want. <laughs> yeah, good good luck, Nog, and enjoy. Let us know how it goes. 
okay is the bear need that back no worries Ellie. thanks for hanging with your uh with us on your lunch break i always appreciate it have a great rest of your shift Waltzing into Quans at full stink, no big deal. All right. So by the fire, we'll put the raw stuff. And the cooked stuff can go here. Perfect. Look at us. We're living the dream chat. All right, let's put some arrows. Or we start the bow as well as an option. I, I do want a 99% bow. Take it to Bleak Inlet. Seven arrows, why not? <laughs> what else are we gonna do? Hey, Regan's good to see you. What are some tips and strats for killing our animals? Um, on interloper? Honestly, like, avoidance. You, you don't really want to kill them, but otherwise they work exactly the same as the other animals. The problem is, like, say if you shoot the bear and you're expecting him to bleed out, if the aurora changes back to regular weather, then you lose that then you lose that kill. So <clears throat> with wolves, they are just like a regular wolf, just a bit stronger. So just shoot them in the face. Um, obviously, you can't use a fire, so you just have to let them charge and shoot them. Uh, but yeah, try honestly, try not to. Use terrain as well, Riggins, if you know what I mean about terrain. How you're on, say, like a ledge that has a secondary ledge. Like, if you can get to one of those spots, shoot a bear, then he can't get you. Hit in the head twice, yeah. <laughs> Try your best. If a bear's charging you, walk backwards and lose shots at it. And then if you have to, you can try dancing with the bear, but that's not ideal. Archery level four? We do have a couple archery books. Maybe we go outside and read them. Why why not, right? 97% chat, we're making this tomorrow. Amazing. Let's just go sleep outside. But yeah, like if you're on Stalker, you can use things like the flashlight or... Oh, noisemakers, Riggins, noisemakers. If you have noisemakers, that works on Aurora animals. So think about that. Oh, are we gonna finish this book? Let's go, chat. Beautiful. It's like minus four. We had water. Let's sleep out here. But we just did just spend five hours reading. <laughs> you're on interloper? Yeah, honestly, avoidance is your best strat, but now if you're like prepping for some new you know, mechanics that might come to Interloper eventually, i.e. the transponder and the caches. Maybe it's something you want to get more comfortable with, Aurora box. So avoidance, knowing where the spawns are is important. Trying to anticipate where wolves or bears could be. And then again, using the terrain or noisemakers to your advantage. Malcolm, you're on a you're on a glitched run. Like that stuff isn't supposed to be spawning. I'd start a new one. Uh, Hush River is only broken for you. Everyone else is getting the right loot. <laughs> I think you you were on a file that probably um, had all the stuff pre-update. So you went in there once and all the stuff spawned in and then it didn't change in the update. Feels like minus point two. Want to practice? Get comfortable? Good call, Riggins. Good call. Yeah, like noisemakers are going to be huge for Aurora animals on Interloper. Calling it now. Throwing throwing a noisemaker at an Aurora wolf is going to be your get out of jail free card. 
All right, let's go uh, sleep. And then we can craft that satchel tomorrow. Ninety-seven percent. Might have to sleep a few hours. There we go. Are they in Forsaken Airfield? On Loper? Uh no. Noisemakers? No. The only places I've seen you Oh, actually, yes, they are Riggins. Hold on. Where the heck did I find them? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Blackrock and Bleak Inlet have had noisemakers, but again, I have no idea. Cured moose, let's go. What else do we need? Cloth? Guts? Okay, let's craft. Black rock's pretty tough, yeah. Bug backpack, supposed to be only spawned dark walker. Sting. Bleak does? It had noisemakers in a memento, but again, that might not be available now. Oh my god, I gotta check my cat. He's just screaming for some reason. If you're I got Arm! coffee. This, this is serious. All right. Okay. I can't see. <sighs> I'm gonna need some first aid soon. That was interesting, actually. I don't recall having seen that animation before. What kind of first aid does she need? Oh, look, a maple. Did we hurt ourselves? Ah, oh, we're fine. Just a couple, couple sprints. <laughs> Guys, I don't know. I don't know uh, about this. <sighs> Cold, we need to get another shot in him. I didn't reload. Oh no. Oh no. Who saw that? Who saw that I didn't reload? <laughs> oh, not like this. I shot the moose. I shot the moose. <laughs> Rookie mistake, folks. Rookie mistake. Yeah. Let's just see if he destroyed our bedroll. <laughs> Obviously. Blood. What has she done? Blood all over. My cackers. And I had a. I had to swallow twice. I think there was so much in my mouth. <laughs> All right, and sorry to confuse you, Riggins. Like, Bleak could have noisemakers if you craft them there, but I think they were in a memento cache in Bleak. Uh, but again, that's probably gone from Interloper now. So you got to go get the uh, Black Rock Mine noisemakers, as far as I know. Grim wanted water. He was sitting by his death, his water bowl, <laughs> uh, asking for water. All right, let's craft the satchel. It is two guts. Let's go. Ten hours. Ugh. So long. I thought it was like five hours. Hey, Iron Ghost, welcome in. Good to see you, my friend. Aurora Knight? Oh, we're getting it. We're getting it. Oh. You know what, chat? We, we do this. We finish this tonight. We got like 10 minutes left or something. 48 minutes, yeah. I'm justifying it. Yes. Okay, um, beautiful. Boom! Satchel activated. 45 kilo carry capacity chat. I'm eating trees. Because I'm gonna. I'm gonna eat a tree. I'm eating trees. Alright, let's have a look here. We do want to do the bow as well. So, two and one. Do we have a maple? Where's our maple? I swore we had a maple on us. Don't worry, chat. We're not losing well fed. Uh, you can't repair improvised crampons. As far as I know, they're a one-shot thing. 
pretty sure that's how it works. You can? Oh, I don't know. Is this quiz day for ones? Come on, chat. I play, I play this game like once a week. I barely know what's going on. You gotta give me a break. All right, let's just sleep out here tonight. And then tomorrow, we go to Bleak. Or we could actually read a book out here. What about that? Maybe we get another book to read. Like the, uh, cooking book? Actually could help us. So we have one cooking book here and another one here. Yeah. All right. Yep, yep, yep. Let's go. A 1% repair? That's gotta be a glitch. They used to not be able to be repaired. And then we have the, uh... Why am I not getting water? Oh, I'm so bad at this game. Sorry, I'm sidetracked, chat. I got other things in my mind, apparently. Alright, now we read. We can read a five-hour book, <laughs> so we'll do it. Oh, we're getting cold. No, not like this. We did get three hours, though, at least. Okay, take it. It, it, it doesn't let you <laughs> when you're cold, so. I know, we're cold. Let's warm up. And then tomorrow we leave. I'll bring the books with me, maybe. Ah, uh, let's read the one and then go, I think. There's two hours left on it. We're five kilos underweight, let's go. The bow, I forgot about the bow chat. Oof. Yeah, we gotta make a bow. We're procrastinating now. 92, 70% bow with level four is actually not bad. I think I can live with that. And we have 13 arrows. Is that enough? How many shafts do we have? One arrow shaft. Okay, let's just grab a couple shafts. We have another cooking book in here. Interesting. That way we show up the shafts and we can break into the cannery and craft craft our bow in there if we want. And they're lightweight to travel with. So for food, 40 cattails, let's take the rest with us. We have the rabbit for repairs, extra cloth, don't need that. Alright, I'm happy, I'm ready, chat. Okay, let's do this. Why? Let's just leave him be, Chad. He's done nothing to us. He's done nothing to us. Poor thing is just trying to live his life. Alright, bleak and lit. <laughs> we have two curing bear hides, so... And a 100% bear coat, so we just don't need to. We don't need to. Okay. We're going to bleak chat. Bleak inlet. I want to beachcomb bleak and uh, break into the cannery.
Who knows, maybe we'll get a uh, cache and we can learn more. The problem with the caches is the notes are bugged right now. Or should we try to find the plane that Wowden was talking about? I already walked around the hills up above Quonset, but not above here. It would be cool if the plane showed up on the maps. Lots of wolves. My tummy's grumbling. Astrid's hungry. I'm hungry. Actually, Astrid's full. Alright, you know what? We'll, we'll walk up here. I don't know, Riggins. Uh, I know Mark Wars is like, you know, moved and lifestyle changes and stuff, so things happen. People move on. Mark Wars will be here in spirit, though, for sure. For always. For always and ever. Alright, if we see a plane, we'll go for it. We got your Pido done for the quiche. Nice. Well, I hope the quiche turns out. Still gaming, that's good. Good to know people still have some time for video games. Yeah, I assume the plane's not low elevation or we would have seen it. I was thinking we haven't been here yet, so let's check around. I feel like it'd be higher up. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to go up there. Uh-oh, now we're lost. It's like... Wrong way. It's not gonna let me up here, there's no way. Yeah, we need to make some water soon. Hey, Kiara, thank you for the sub. Hi, Wands and Wands and Grim, Wands and Grim. 27 month streak, that's amazing. Thank you so much for the support. Really, really do appreciate it. We're having a great day. Thank you again for the continued support. Oh, Hammer? Perfect. Interesting. That's that's new. I didn't know that spawned there. Okay. Hammer at the trailer under Cinder Hill. Good to know about. Yeah, there's a lot of outdoor hammers in Coastal Highway. Yeah, this seems so random, exactly. It's like what? Just laying on the ground by the trailer? Door? Okay. I'll take it.
Interesting. How was that food we grabbed? Let's eat this before it gets spoiled and then we're uh, out of water. <laughs> Great. Ugh, my tongue feels like sandpaper. Okay, yeah, we'll drink a tea. I found my hammer today by the door to the basement. Um, which, which door? The basement? Harrison's basement? Or farmhouse basement? My hammer, my basement. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, that one went right over my head. Now I'm curious about this plane crash we haven't found yet. Uh, we got all the time in the world. Hey, Heaven, welcome in. Yeah, we're just uh, finished a big crafting session in Coastal. So now we're heading towards Bleak Inlet. I want to go Beachcomb Bleak. Beachcombing and Bleak Inlet. This could be an area with the plane. Again, I expect it to be higher elevation, but you never know. It could be on the side of this hill here. Kind of miscalculated. Hope we can still get out. Yeah, should be fine. Yeah, for those just tuning in, this is Vanilla Interloper. We're just cruising around coastal right now, heading towards Bleak. We just finished the Bear Coat and the Moose Satchel. So we're feeling pretty good. Feeling good. Double bear coat. I have the fixings for it, but I'm not really interested in double bear coat. Not right now. It's still like only day 35, so we have, you know, we have some time before the weather turns nasty on us. Ooh, acorns. Wink. Is it possible? Yeah, yeah, of course. You can wear any jackets you want. Uh, the only thing that's restricted is the sports vest, it has to be on the inner layer. But other than that, they don't they don't care what you do with your jackets. Oh, blizzard. I'm trying to see if there's a plane crash over here. Now that's all I can think about. Two moose satchels is not possible. It's illegal. You can wear two ear wraps, you can't wear two crampons. Uh, you can wear one rabbit hat, but only on the outer layer. There's a few rules like that. I'd eat snow if the hypothermia wouldn't Yeah, unfortunately, me. we need to craft some water. Let's just see, see what happens with this. Might as well just go outside and light a fire. See if we can find some wind shelter. Hey, Mahat, welcome in. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the Grim Gang. This isn't a terrible spot, but I don't really like it. What about somewhere else, like over here? Right up here, maybe? 
No. Technically, it says this is windproof. Maybe not. All right, let's just do it right here. Hope for the best. Come on, little fire. Got it. 95%. We better get it. I didn't light a torch. Yeah, we got it. We got it, chat. Perfect. the discord thanks mycroft for posting that discord link youtube link and twitter link folks check it out especially the youtube uh if you want to check out past vods previous challenges we've done stuff like that it's all up there all right we got some water now we're set but now the question do we go be beachcombing again because <laughs> we can Fine. Let's just go sleep. Yeah, we might as well just go to sleep, and then we can get into uh, get into the ravine tomorrow night, tomorrow morning, or whatever. Oh yikes! What are we gonna do in here? Let's see if we can get this repair off before it gets too dark. Ah, oh, failed. That sucks. Few, few repairs while we can. Going oblique with our best foot forward. Yeah, let's sharpen this all the way. Knife's at 50%. Just wasting time so we can sleep through the night, basically. Oh, you know what? Did the blizzard just stop? That's the case, let's just leave. Sleep in the ravine. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. But where is that plane crash, chat? Where is that plane crash? Gotta be up here. Wow, Dan, are we getting closer? <laughs> Is it high up or low down? I feel like it's high up. It's gotta be high up. It'd be nice to see before we go, but if it's like on the other side of the map by the uh, coastal village or something, I'm not going. Hot, cold. But here it's always cold, yeah. Getting warmer. Between Quonset and Desolation Point? Ah, uh, okay. Well, we're not finding it today then. <laughs> we're on the way out, Chad. I'm sorry. Quonset and Desolation. All right, you know where we didn't go was... Actually, we kind of did. We didn't... We did go to Silent Clearing, so who knows? Maybe it is closer to... Coastal... Coastal Village. Hey, Koru. Good to see you. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. And thanks to my craft for showing Koru out. Last scene playing The Long Dark, also an extremely talented musician. We got to see Koru um, doing some Disney songs last week. Piano and singing, it was awesome.
What was that? Got stuck. Oh no. Let's see if there's anything in there. I'm pretty sure we looted this. Yep. Yep. Carry on. Bear fire video. Yeah, it's been making its rounds. It's really neat. All right, folks, you know the drill. We're going to Bleak Inlet via Ravine Basin. I'm not going to climb the ropes. I'll just go down. The rope's already deployed, so we don't need to worry about that. We'll just go down to the basin, sleep the night there, and then we'll hit it, hit it tomorrow. We'll go break into the, the Bleak Cannery, craft our bow. When you check that moose hide earlier, it made me come up with some commands that tell you the time for cure various things. Nice. That's cool, like, the, like the moose hide is 10 days, so it's not so bad, but like, the bear hide's 12 days, so if you expect me to do that math in my head, no, it's not happening. But that's cool, um, you know, the maple's the other big thing, seven day for the maple, knowing like, oh, maple's at 62%, I gotta wait another 1.87 days, I know, that's way off, you know what I mean, that's good, that's good stuff, very cool. So stay tuned, folks. Commands for uh, cure times coming your way soon via Big Fish. Yeah, that's candy. Definitely handy. Guess we don't really need this torch. It is keeping us at zero, though. Do we want to go shoot a deer first, is the real question? Or should we just go straight to Bleak Inlet and focus on... We'll just eat, eat what we can there. There's plenty of deer actually in Bleak Inlet, Upper Bleak. It's Lower Bleak that's the issue. Lower Bleak doesn't have as much deer. Lots of moose though. So you can go to Bleak Inlet and do some moose hunting. Now I'm wondering, are there planes on more maps? <laughs> are there plane crashes everywhere? We'll have to just stumble upon them eventually, I guess, but it's pretty cool now that there's all this random stuff to discover in a game that we all have so many hours in. Just go down here, uh, not at the rope. I haven't seen that one yet, Koro, either. Oh my goodness, I actually haven't really been around the muskeg. I need to go exploring. I thought that's why you put the bounty on the Hush River goat. Uh, the plane crash in Hush River? Yeah, pretty much. For, um, for Outer Loper, purest Outer Loper, that would be so good. Spoiled left and right, I know, eh? Alright, let's get out of here. So this goat's not bad as long as you don't start it on the snow. You gotta you gotta walk up the rock first, otherwise you you get an instant death wall. But then from here it's pretty straightforward. question is, do we walk in the bleak now, or do we sleep the night? You know what, we could just waltz our way in there, it's pretty nice. Oh, you know what, let's try to find the bleak bunker. I know it's actually on the upper part of the map, so let's do that. Oh, wrong way. I don't know where that way is, but we're going this way. Dude, oh no, 218 to a death wall, that hurts. 
I'm sorry. That's not what you want. Okay. Death walls are pain. Because, like, there's no way of knowing if there's one coming. There's no way to know when you're gonna hit a death wall. You just have to hope you're... You're gonna be safe. Cattails. I think there's a few around here. Lyric. Alright, take care. Thanks for lurking, Koryu. Have a great uh, time with the kids, whatever you're up to. Alright, let's just go straight up to the hills. Start looking for that uh, bunker. Just sleep the night in the bunker. Maybe there's a uh, treat in there for us. Yeah, I think it's like up, up, up above here somewhere. Can you explain a little? Uh, not a sandwich. What would you like me to explain? Just the premise of the game? Basically, the uh, main, main idea is there was a... Oh, the death wall. Okay, so if you're, like, billy goading where you're not supposed to, uh, instead of, like, having a falling animation, you just hit a wall and it instantly kills you. It's an instant death wall. So, for example, if you're billy goading at the rope down to the ravine, there's a death wall there. Um, there's one, like, near the bridge in Desolation Point. There's just, there's just a few random spots. You don't fall, you just hit the wall and die. Um, so we try to spread the word about them because you don't want to hit a death wall and lose a run because it's, it's like this it's the lamest thing that can happen. But yeah, the death wall is basically an instant death when you're billy goading in an area you're not supposed to. Hey, Pawa, welcome in. Good to see you. And no, not ignorance. It's just one of those things where you don't run into unless you're billy goading off limits. Down on a coastal? Oh no. Oh right, I saw that clip in your um, clip reel fish. There's a there's one in coastal. Oh, we found the hatch. Easy. <laughs> Here we are, chat. Top of the world. Yeah, fish found a death wall in coastal. Oh, there's a corpse in this one. That means that stuff spawns in here, chat. This is this. Oh, it's got a hammer. We could use this. That's so cool. We'll keep that with us. Thanks, Wands. No worries, Sandwich. No worries. My pleasure. You can't light a fire in here. No, you can't. That's neat, though. We got the hammer. That's it. But apparently, uh, and find corpses, and maybe corpse has matches on it. Okay, let's sleep here. Where's the wall in Coastal? Good good question. Um, you'd have to probably watch a clip, Peggy Sue, on Fish's channel, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, I'd let Fish explain. I think he was midway through the map, goading down, and it just was an instant death. So lame. Okay, food poison risk, let's go. Iron Gut Astrid. If you shortcut from trailer at the ravine exit towards Cinder Hill without going down the hill. Oh, okay. So I've seen PT do that trick, but he went down the hill a little bit first. But I think I know what you're talking about. So I will avoid that. Okay, do we have enough coffee? 5, 10, 15, 20, 2, 3, 4 coffees. 24 coffees, chat. You messed it up. Oops. <laughs> it happens. When you watch someone go, it seems like, okay, I can do that. But, like, even, you know, little adjustments in one direction, up or down in elevation could, could spell disaster. All right, chat, I hate to do this to you. I gotta take a quick break and get a bit of snack, and then I'll come back and we'll conquer Bleak Inlet together, okay? BRB.
no thank you. Here we go. We're fighting Fluffy. It's now or never. It's happening. That's dim to good use. There, there, there. Let's do this! Oh no! Oh no! Oh my god, I ran out the wires! <laughs> I was like, don't I have way more sticks? No! Oh. Hot, hot, hot! Oh. Hot, hot, hot! Ah. That's true. Oh no. Oh no, I don't think we have painkillers. Ah, the pain! Ah, it's painful! Okay. Okay. Oh no. Oh no, we need pro sips. Yeah. Jump. Yeah, he made it. He made it. All right, everyone say hi to Grim. Oof, he's a big boy. Oh my goodness. Give him, we'll give him a little love here. Off. That's strange. So we got two arrows now. Oh, it's so dark in here. Oh, the frick! What? <laughs> okay. Alright. Uh... Currently have well fed and our health is at five, five health, but we have a hundred percent health reduction. Yeah, so we currently have ten frostbites, and just to, just to show you all, let's uh, go to the menu here. So we have four on our head and six on our hands. And that's our health bar. There's zero health, but we do have we do have five percent health, and we're trying to get down the mountain. We're coming down the mountain, whether we like it or not. I think we're gonna just fling ourselves off at any point here. Oh shoot! <laughs> oh no! Okay. No, thank you. Alder, good to see you. I don't know, should I... Oh my goodness, it's so cute up close. Hi. I have a friend now, folks. We can never, we can never kill this. Put the gun away, Astrid. Give it a pet. Hello. Hi. Oh, it's such a doofus. Hold on, look at me, look at me again. I want a screenshot. Hello. Oh, it's so cute. I need that bear to poke his head up over that hill. Oh, there he is. What? Oh, no! Oh, my God! Oh, no, we're dead! <laughs> he didn't even stand up, chat! He didn't even stand up! Well, we should have stimmed, chat. We definitely should have Okay, perfect. Meat's not even burnt, look at this. Oh! No! Oh! <laughs> what just happened? Oh god, auto walking. <laughs> Astrid. No, the pain, the pain. Ah. All right, I'm back, thanks for waking. Wait, waiting, waking. Um, shoot moments, yeah, there's a few of those out there. So the transmitters, you can repair them power, but you can pick up the transmitter on Interloper. Not yet, not until they change it. All right, do we carry the hammer with us? For acorns, I guess? Do we even have any? We have to cook them first. Yeah. Oh, well, we'll carry it. Why not? 
All right, bleak inlet. Let's go. So I'm gonna avoid these wolves up here if I can, uh, and save my arrows. Because <laughs> the problem is, is we'll shoot three wolves and maybe find two arrows or one arrow or no arrows when the wolves go run up in the hills and die. So we'll just sneak past them if possible. <clears throat> and then uh, deploy the rope, grab the note, get down here, down to the uh, work workstation. What's it called? The cannery work, work something. The cannery workshop. And we don't have Archery 5. Archery 5 with the crouching, throwing stones is so strong for Timberwolves. You can just guide them into your shots, basically. Take pot shots at them. You know, if there's wolves and they're like in the way of our path, we'll go, we'll go fight them. Okay, I see them. They're kind of just off to the side. So we could sneak, sneak past if we want. Love this place, Bleak. I always find my missing arrows. Yeah, at least like here it's small, so you can like wait for a sunny day and find your arrows, but the lower map not so much. Oh, we might have a situation, chat. Oh yeah, they're gonna bug me. Let's just like shoot one in the face and then maybe we get lucky and shoot the other one in the face. Or we pull blue fire and just go for it. Look at them in a little train, isn't that cute? Okay, they're all four right here. Only we had a noisemaker, eh? I really do want to avoid shooting them. I'd just rather move on quickly. My fingers feel numb. They're literally just walking on by. There's no longer limited resources. Pays to bring them into the Timberwolf regions. Yeah, you don't have to stress about like, oh no, I can't use my blue flares. I only have 10 of them. Just crouch walk. We'll teabag across the map if we have to. Oh, it's happening. I'm freezing. Let's just get out of here. See how far they come. Bleak inlet strat, yeah, just crouch walk your way. Can you shoot through here? Oh, <laughs> maybe. Oh, we might have to get rid of these wolves now. That or we can use fire to do it. Just run down with a uh, <clears throat> flare in my hand. Hey, Boggle, thank you for the 15 months. That's amazing. Thank you so much for the support. Just eat this. Appreciate that. 15 months, that is a long time. Thanks for hanging out. Straight down the hatch. go an hour and then go down and grab the note.
Day 40 almost, chat. Uh, we'll come back for that. He's coming for me, chat. Do they come up the stairs still? Maybe not. But also maybe. What's going on? Only one of them is like active right now. That was cursed. What the heck was that about? It's cheating. Oh, 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 what, what the? What? The? Okay, they don't interact with the stairs very well. What was that? What the heck was he doing? Let's just get down to the spot. You know what? We could always just shoot him a few times here. If they want. What was that? What was that, Astrid? Are you kidding me? Tanky wolf. Come on, man. You know what? Let's just let it die down. Okay. <laughs> he took two. He took two arrows. Okay, so there's one wolf with one arrow and another wolf with another. So these two here on this side of the map, we need to we need to have expire. I can't feel my hands. Or we just watch and when they come out, we take the shot. No boom cans. No, we haven't. Uh, we actually didn't even go into Black Rock. We probably should have, but I just opted not to. Okay, let's check the kill count. We need two more kills, I think. Wolf struggles. Wolves killed 29. Oh, are you kidding me? What's with the what's with the movements? Do you see that? Like they're doing? Hey Grumpy, good to see you. Got a good clip of the table wolf on the stairs. Yeah, um I I don't know if you can post it. It might not work. You can try. You can try. Yeah, you can either that or DM it to Rox and Rox will post it. Oh no, oh no. No Can we even get up here? Yeah, we can. Oh, he just died. Somewhere. Good stuff, chat. No lost arrows, maybe? I feel like we broke two. 
Wait, didn't I just... Yeah, I just heard him die over here somewhere. We, we heard him, I swear. Oh no, I can't get up here. Okay, never mind. It's gonna let me. You have to let me. If the wolf can get up here, I should be able to get up here. No! Chat. Not like this. Okay, let's try to go this way and then back around, maybe. Oh no. Here we go. Climb this tree, jump over. Oh, it's not gonna let me. Arrow stealers. Yeah, I don't think I can get there. There's the clip. Nice. Thank you for that. That scared me, Grumpy. That scared the stink out of me. What are they doing over there? It must be the deer carcass. Yeah, well, this arrow might be just inaccessible. That or maybe we can like jump to here and then gain elevation here. Oh, oh, see, it shoved me right down. It doesn't want me up here. I'm hitting a wall right here. Does this not work anymore, the fire bump cancel? Did they patch this? I heard they patched this. Angelin, why would you do that? Okay, let's try again. Different different direction, maybe? We can get up here. Oh, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Up and over. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. There's a will, there's a way, chat. Let's go. Oh no, there's literally a brick wall here. I'm hitting a wall. Ah! Where's my wolf? He's up here, I swear. This is how death walls are found. No! I don't care. Chat, I think we lost this arrow. That or he died somewhere else and I wasn't paying attention, but let's just get we're gonna get hypothermia here or something. Go with the wall. Um I don't wanna fall. Now that fish says death wall, I'm kinda nervous. Let's just look over here, you never know, maybe there's something something to see over in this direction. I think that's an L, folks. I think that's a big old L. Alright, is the transmitter here? Just to confirm. Oh right, the transmitter's in the muskeg. We don't have it here. Alright, let's heal up. Hey Skyhurts, welcome in. Rip that arrow, yeah, it's not coming back. Should be a blue flare in here. Sure, we'll take the spray paint. Just kidding. Now, you know what? It might have been another wolf that we heard die. I can't remember. I'm confused now. I don't think there's one here. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want a death wall though. I don't want to be the one to discover a death wall. Okay, we got the cannery notes. Now we can access the cannery workbench. All right, good stuff. 
No flare, eh? No blue flare? Interesting. Uh, I don't know if they moved it or removed it, but there always used to be a blue flare in this... in this hut somewhere. Oh, ha! <laughs> I'm blind. Chat, I'm blind. Alright. Do we have any sprints? What's going on? See, that's exactly what I didn't want to do, was fight Timberwolves and lose arrows, break arrows, all that. Not ideal. There are a couple of deer carcasses on this map, so we might just grab those instead of trying to hunt the deer. Losing more, more arrows in the process. Our arrow. It's not this guy, is it? That'd be too easy. No, we already got him. It's somewhere past that rock, it sounded like, on the other side of the wall that we can't get to. Okay, but there's two deer carcasses. Let's check both of the spots, and then if we can get like two to four kilos of venison like that, then we won't hunt. <clears throat> I've really been struggling, chat, with the with the venison. I shoot one and it runs. And I never see it again. I gotta I gotta get better. I gotta get good. <laughs> Archery four now is probably gonna help a lot, but yeah. We're on the struggle bus. See this you would never know unless you came up here and looked, but there's a little secret area. Secret not so secret. And literally nothing here today. Sometimes there is a deer carcass and it, it has a lot of meat on it. For some reason the deer in this map spawn extra extra meat on the carcasses. Okay, we'll check the one other spot. If we can find it in the blizzard. Starting to feel numb. Couldn't resist. Now what? Now what do you do once? Yeah, literally nothing, because it's a blizzard. Okay, let's go to sleep and um, get out of this storm, maybe. The other spot's just down here. Let's just check on it. These are the two bonus areas with potential deer carcass. Yeah, we got a deer carcass. Okay. Go ahead and get whatever's on this. 2 6, yeah. 20 minutes of damage. Ouch! Lons, what are you doing to poor Astrid here? Epithermia barely is popping off. Okay. We do have like 12 birch spark teas, so we can just drink some of those. Cook and sleep. Yeah, but that situation with the wolf on the stairs was scary. Did you find a moose? Yeah, we have a moose satchel. We got the moose in Timberwolf Mountain on the way down from Ash Canyon. Or wait, no, we got the Ash Canyon moose on the way down from the gold mine, and then we ended up bringing it all the way with us to Coastal Highway. 100%, let's go. That's right, there's so many books in here, we can just have a book fire. <laughs> Cook our meat, sleep. Come on, little fire. 
Come on. Yeah, a uh, deer. A deer. There was just a doe. Just shot a doe. And then we got lost in a blizzard. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Okay, let's cook. Gamey for 36 minutes. Sleep for an hour. Warm up. Where? Yeah, there's three moose on this map, but they're in the lower, the lower part. Two on the uh, frozen delta, and one at the washout trailer. Uh, so this is a really good map for moose hunting. Very consistent, but not the upper part. 36 minutes, sleep again. Okay, Blizzard stopped at least. might go down tonight if the weather's nice. Is there a transmitter box in Coastal? No, I don't think so. I don't I think it's in Desolation Point and the Desolation Point one feeds Coastal. But I'm not 100% not positive about that. Uh, someone in chat hinted that to me basically. 20 minutes. Uh, let's just finish this. He didn't go. Our encumbrance, not bad. Everything's true. What once said about the transmitter? Thanks, dude. So there you go, wedding. Desolation point. Coastal is um, powered by the DP transmitter, it sounds like. We did shoot a deer. Should we go process it? Nah, let's get out of here. I'm gonna go down on an adventure. Where in DP? Good question. No idea. <laughs> Arrow better than the revolver? Yeah, but it was really strong. It's light, it's quiet. Keep in mind, like, you can shoot a deer and miss and get another shot, potentially. But yeah, dude, any, uh, any tips for Wowdane on where that transmitter might be? Well, we dropped an arrow, didn't we? Well, the bow is very strong. Revolver, it's more of like a... You can fire a warning shot to scare the wolves consistently, but as far as kill kill shots, not so much. There you go. Um, Western trailer, dude says. Well done, so good luck. Get it going. Deploy that rope, cramp on party down the rope. Easy. You just must have missed it. Yeah, sometimes you see like a small tower that looks like the radio tower, but just smaller. Could be an aurora night tonight, but we'll just go to the uh, cabin and then walk that part of the map. It's uh, a lot safer. Barely taller than the trailer. Oh, it might be just hidden behind the trailer then, Wowdain. Good job. Thanks, uh, folks, for helping. Oh, it is indeed an aurora tonight, chat. Aurora Timberwolves, anyone? Anyone interested? You know, that's the thing is like, I wouldn't mind rushing, uh, I wouldn't mind rushing to Cannery to unlock it tonight. But we're a bit of a walk from there. If we were, say, at Cannery Workers Residence, maybe, because it's pretty close, but yeah, we're too far.
Ready your fire hardened arrows? No, thank you. All right, folks, bleak inlet, and uh, we just we just left the lower or left the upper bleak for lower bleak. I'm just gonna loot around here a bit. Shiny uh, D holo rarities is crazy, especially on Nogoa settings. I can spot you from so far away. Oh yeah, on uh, Nogoa, it seems like they don't even need line of sight as long as you're like within their radius, they go to you. It's pretty scary. Yeah, I don't. I obviously don't come in here on note modes. Um, but what I'm trying to figure out is like, what if beachcombing is so strong that like now you can spawn in Bleak Inlet and like get a bunch of stuff off the beach and then find a bedroll, and then move on with your life? I haven't got the. Uh, it hasn't officially started. The the dim light and then no music I means not really an official aurora yet. I think. They used to put two cans of food here, and now it's nothing. Why would they do that to me? The S-shaped trailer? Oh, there you go. Much more. Matches. Sometimes there's matches on that stump there. I searched it. I swear, I searched it already. That was weird. If you don't get the mountain town, you like better roll. You go to PV on nope. Oh, no, I usually just conveniently die, so then I have to restart. <laughs> no, honestly, like if I don't get the mystery lake bed roll, uh, then I typically like will try to go to the ravine and then from ravine to bleak. But that just hasn't happened in so long. We haven't had to, thankfully, because I don't know if I could handle it. There's some food here. Yeah, dog food. 21%. Maybe I'll eat that tonight. And get some food poisoning. But yeah, that's the that's the idea, is if you get the Mountain Town or Mr. Lake Bed roll, you're gonna try really hard for that run. If you don't, then you know, start slacking a little bit. All of a sudden, oh no, a wolf is coming at me and my my lighter doesn't work. What do I do? Oh no, I'm not able to struggle for some reason. Better respawn. <laughs> no, seriously though, um Pleasant Valley isn't consistent enough for my taste. There's like I think three outdoor bed rolls, but I have never found them. I've only had word of mouth that they exist. There's no radio in here, eh? I want to turn the tunes on. Okay. Can we do sharpen our knife? Yeah, go for the stream, break into the cannery, but I want to get, uh... Maybe that bear killed first, too. Or we just go beachcombing. <laughs> that's, the, that's the major goal. Beachcomb. P PBS 3, one in Winding River. Yeah, that's the problem. It's like, you go through there, all the way to Winding River, then you gotta go all the way back. It's demoralizing. Hey, Street, welcome in. Good to see you. We're just in Bleak. Having a good time. We're getting ready to have a good time at least. Hopefully we can make it uh, into the cannery without any hardships. Okay, let's get rid of this whetstone. All our tools are nice. I uh, shouldn't have done this. I always forget. We, we have a mill. We have a literal mill that we can sharpen all our tools with in Bleak that we're heading to. Whatever. It's fine. Oh, I guess we could read. We could read our cooking book. Why not? Aurora reading. 
by the candlelight. Okay, too dark to read, but we had a good read, good session. Maybe I'll finish that in the morning while it's cold. Yeah, we've been reading books. I read uh, a couple cooking books and an archery book so far. And we've not burned any, I swear. No burned books yet. We've been good. <laughs> we tried to burn a book at the very first fire and it didn't work. So I ended up just uh, using sticks, I think. I took it as a sign that this run would be pure. No, no book burning. Yeah, I've had a nice time off. I had the whole week off and I still have Monday off. So a couple more days. Uh, I went to the garden yesterday, did some work. I'm probably going to go back this weekend. Tomorrow or today, if I have some time. And then uh, getting back to it next week. But yeah, no, it's been nice. Week off is perfect. Okay, we're nicely underweight as well. Let's, uh, let's go out there. Should be not terrible out. Okay, well, it's a little terrible. It's fine. We're, we're only minus two triangles in the wind shelter. Ah, uh, well. Like I said, if we can get, uh, you know, to the cannery tonight and just be ready for the uh, Aurora to hit, it's just a good, good position to be in. Spring has started to arrive here. Getting some nice outdoor time. Nice, yeah. Oh, this is a blizzard chat. This is a blizzard blizzard. Oops. Yeah, trying to trying to get some more outdoor time now. It's sunny and cool. Not not too cold out. Wreck. <laughs> it's just a video game. I, I only burn books when I'm like desperate for warmth or a quick uh, 20 extra percent on the fire start. I don't like this. What if we run into the bear or the Timberwolf pack? We had a blizzard transition while we were outside. Two weeks off, yeah. I did get a bit of an extended break, which is nice, but more would have been better, obviously. If the Timberwolves attack, at least we have our back to the wall here. But there can be a pack down at the river. So I'm not running. I'm just gonna walk slow. Hey, Harkwood, welcome in. Do I, if I don't pull him up. Hope you're well. We're just uh, going through bleak in a blizzard. I'm not lost, though. I swear, I'm not lost. exploring. Now I know exactly where we are. We're hitting the landslide. I think it's called. Well, that was a good fall. And then this is uh, the where the way to the bear. Quoteless. There we go. Nice one. And good thing here is we get a fresh beachcomb spawn now so we can go hunker down at the cabin and then you know beachcomb beachcomb tomorrow <laughs> i definitely don't that one went over my head all right just be aware there's a bear like somewhere in front of us so try not to run into him Thought I heard him. <laughs> Bash scripts? <laughs> Is that a thing you know about Bash? Found it, chat. We did it. 
We got a four a four twenty quote. Nice one. It's not on it's not on topic, but I'll take it. Lots of cattails here, might as well grab them. Alright, now we sleep until the blizzard's over, or hang out until the blizzard's over, and then we beachcomb. Beachcomb City. I could move it. <laughs> I don't know how many quotes we have. There haven't been that many. Never know. 80%. Let's try it. Sounds good. There should be a blue flare in here. Let's just find it. There it is. Nice. Okay. All right. Anything we can do chore wise? <laughs> Repair our socks. Yes. Instead of people beachcombing fish, we now have fish beachcombing people. Yeah, that was a good one. That was a good quote. Just unlock cold fusion. Nice, Terminus. That is probably like the perk that everyone agrees is the strongest, if not one of the strongest perks, feats that you can get. So nice work. It's good. Ooh, we failed our rabbit glove repair and now we need rabbit hide. Is this a good idea? No, are we doing it? Yes. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, let's get three hours and then maybe we get a roar tonight? Break into the cannery? Let's just... Oh, peach combing though. What do we do, chat? Obviously, I want to go to the cannery and lock it as soon as we can, but I do want a beach comb, so maybe we'll head, head for the beach comb. Shoot, sorry, BRB chat. All right, sorry about that. That's my doorbell. Where's the bear? That's what I want to know. Might as well bring it for hacksaw repair. Hey, yeah, fellow, good to see you. Thank you for being here. Welcome, welcome. All right, so I feel like there's one beach beachcomb spot here, and that's about it. The rest are behind. Oh, there it is. Called it. There's more. Okay, they've uh, up the ante, chat. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Future ones can mess with that. Oh, there's a lot of uh, stuff here now. Okay, they've definitely they've definitely tweaked this zone because this never was as um, consistent. The model of emote by default. Nice one. Hey, Mickle, good to see you. I didn't see you sneaking in here. There's also a deer on this island. It wouldn't be bad for us to hunt, but I think we should just focus on the task at hand. Ooh, yoink. Boink. I think the game wants me to have all the matches. 
See, that deer there is pretty consistent. But I'm gonna leave it. Leave it for future ones, maybe. Okay, let's go. Maybe there's a flare gun up here. You never know. Let's go check. And then we'll go around the back side. See what we got. And then maybe cannery time. Gunsmithing book. Nah, we don't need that. Again, I've never found anything up here but a cedar, but we're gonna check anyways. Because you never know. Interland has been known to mix stuff up on us. Okay, no flare gun. Alright, beachcombing now. Let's check it out. I don't see any boats. Okay, let's go this way. That is a direction, and that is another direction, huh? <laughs> What? Did I say that? Okay, we got sapling. We got another fish. So that's two, two rune salmon. We'll cook them up. All right, honestly, not, not that impressive, but it's here. And there was quite a few locations to loot at least. Quotes never lie. Half no half the quotes make no sense, exactly. That's the only consistent thing. Oh chat, I feel the Aurora night popping off. The sky's getting lighter, even though it's getting later. It's a sign. Oh, plank? Okay, more more beachcomb spots. Oh, there's the bear. He smells me. I'm gonna drop the salmon at the hut, I think. Come back for it later. We know the bear's behind us. Let's let's get to the cannery. I want to be on that rope. Wait a second. Did all this stuff just wash up again? I don't feel like I remember seeing that there. We'll drop this at the hut. Okay, let's go. We are heading to our destiny. Is that another fish? No, it's just a feature on the ice. Okay, good stuff. Let's 
gonna be close, chat. I feel like Aurora Knight tonight for sure. Beach going is good. Oh, fella, at the beginning of stream, we found a boat that I could walk on. <laughs> I literally entered a boat. There was like a door. It was really cool. I'm not going to loot the bridge. We're just going to go straight to the cannery because I feel like tonight's the night for the, the code. Then we can build our bow. Oh, is that the boat? Nice. Or is that something else? Oh, no, that's the um, that's the Timberwolves on the uh, what you call it? <laughs> the Timberwolves on the staircase. That was wild. No worries, no worries. Stream is a bit of a blur. Yeah, me too. I think it's uh, an Aurora, but not official. So we can get to... You know, we can get past the Timberwolves with the flare and we don't even have to shoot at them. Well, we'll find out soon enough, chat. Are they Aurora Wolves or not? Hey, I wonder if the bed rules here. Don't mind me. I'm just chilling. Anyone know where the bunker is? Yeah, it's in the upper part of Mystery Lake, Baudin. So if you if you go to that upper western lake access and then just sort of head up in the hills in that area, you'll get lucky. And we're done. And the beauty is we'll get a warm room eventually here. We are getting the Aurora tonight, though. This is awesome. So we can open up uh, Sketchy's Cave. Cave? Cannery. Sketchy's Cannery. S -s -s Fluffy. Sorry, my head's not in it today, Chad. I'm all over the place. Didn't need it. Didn't need it. It's got to be the saddest corpse there ever was. Oh, another fuse. I guess we should start collecting that stuff in case they do bring it to Loper, right? See, they're still regular wolves. They're not going in the dark yet. I remember the first time doing this parkour was so intense. It's well done, intentional and I really enjoyed this part of the game. Got the bunker stocked. Nice, Wadane. I had that one stocked too. I had Mountain Town and Mystery like bunker stocked. Uh, one was like stuff from someone who was obviously a hunter, lots of hides and guts and things, uh, and food. And the other one was like food, <laughs> I think. 
That's very neat though. We did it! Okay, we might as well get cozy here. I'm not gonna go rush in and take on Sketchy right now. Can we read our book? Dear Diary. Now they can change. <laughs> Save them. Oh, <gasps> I found a flare gun down here once, chat. Okay, we found another flare gun here. Only it has no ammo. Ah. Oh. All right. Flare gun, no ammo. Here's his tools. Interesting. Yeah, I feel like my I had one where it was like a little bit of everything. I had tools and and food and and like ammo and stuff. Okay, we're out of water. Let's just go for the fire. I think it's random, Growl. I'm not too sure. Can the corpse down in the Aurora Mine and Coastal Highway still have shells? I've never Come found on. them down there, Fish, and I don't know if that was a, like... Because, like, the last patch, we had loot on corpses that we shouldn't have been getting, like stims and flares, I think. But yeah, I'm not too sure. Good question. Good question. Okay, I think tonight we'll eat a bunch of bad food and see if we get food poisoning. Pre pre quality life update. Yeah, exactly. It's been it's been a while for me too. I'm gonna need to eat soon. Okay, rune sardines, food poison night. Oh, rune sardines, no problem. 14% sardines, no problem. Iron gut asteroid has come to play today. Holy. Look at that. That's alright. I'm impressed, I don't know what to say. No one bothers since no- yeah, actually, I never made it down there with that new loot either. It'll feel silly, but I just, uh, I was going to and then the Aurora never hit, so I was like, well, whatever, it's not meant to be. Okay, let's sleep and then we'll go take out the wolf that's guarding our work table. Maybe we'll get another roar later today. Nineties potato masquerading as a video recorder. Who made these quotes? Like I must have not been here one day when some mod made a bunch of quotes, because I do not remember any of that stuff. And they don't have names either. 
Like normally the quotes have a time, date, and name. Hey DJ, welcome in. So some mod went renegade, I think. I have no idea. Must have been a day I wasn't here. Yeah, exactly. That's what when Streamlats did quotes. Oh, but it's 414 though. Oh, Minecraft doesn't do it that way. I hear ya, I hear ya. Okay, let's eat our uh, beans, lucky beans, before we go to battle. All right, and we go fight this wolf chat. If he's there. Spuffy can... Spuffy? Spuffy could not spawn, potentially. Okay. Easy. We've done it, chat. We've freed the cannery of the evil villain, Fluffy. Alright. Good stuff. Now we can loot around here happily. Make our bow. Maybe get an aurora tonight. There's always like one gunpowder worth of uh, dusting sulfur and stump grinder and also charcoal. You can get charcoal from the forge or the whatever the fireplace. This pack is getting kind of heavy. We don't want to be standing in any wires when we go past time. Hey, perfect trip. Good to see you. <laughs> see, there we go. Stump grinder, so now we have enough for gunpowder. But BTS saw you had a good nope run going, like 13 shots already. Nice work. We'll get back to no one of these days, chat. I got a file I'm procrastinating on. I know we're in trouble as soon as we log in. But thank you, uh, Mike Croft, for shouting ET out. Last scene playing The Long Dark. I remember that stream. <laughs> okay. I do want to build the bow, so let's get that. I just want to loot first. And then maybe tonight the cannery lights up and we can make some gunpowder. Actually, can we just make gunpowder at any point? Pretty sure we can. We only need the mill during the cannery Aurora event. So yeah, we can make the gunpowder or the bullets at any point. The ammo bench is all you need, yeah. Which we have. Is he legend? <laughs> Lots of locked lockers. No loot, though. Yeah, for those who didn't see, we actually found a hammer in the bunker here in Bleak Inlet. So, again, I don't think it's like a guaranteed thing, but maybe in one of the bunkers in your world is a hammer, or a chance at a hammer, because uh, a few people have mentioned the hammer now. Pita, yeah, Pita has, I think, the the shot record for Nope, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, 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 new man, welcome in. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the Grim Gang. Okay, that's everything. Coffee? Yeah, there's always a coffee here. Okay, let's craft our gunpowders. Why not? I love the noise. I love it. There was one where Peter had a lot of shots, but he basically was like out of fuel towards the end and not able to do much of anything. But yeah, it's uh, pretty dang impressive. What was I going to put in here? Charcoal, right? Didn't I have another stump grind powder or something I don't want? No, it was a uh, spray paint. Alright, now we can craft. 
bow. We'll finish this thing in no time. I'll probably 99% it. That way it's just like a lightweight in my inventory. So let's just cancel out right at the end. So there is 16 minutes. Let's go a bit more. Okay, so there is four minutes to craft the bow, and it's in our inventory at zero kilos. So that's pretty cool, in my opinion. I feel a little cheesy about that, but I think it's a neat mechanic that uh, I'll take advantage of, for sure. I want to kind of sleep here and just see about one Aurora event tonight, if possible. You don't have to pull the low condition out. Exactly. That's the whole point. Like, it's not as much about the weight as it is about being able to destroy the weak bow first and then upgrading. Oh no, whetstone. Oh well, we can uh, we can sharpen that up with the uh, mill if it happens. Maybe we can. Is a juice that's not worth the squeeze. I said that. Really? My goodness, that must have been in reference to note mode. What else could it mean? We were probably trying to find the better rule and failing. Come on, Aurora. Back-to-back -back Auroras, why not? Okay, maybe it's not happening. It's got my name on it. Oh, well, and I must have said it. No Aurora tonight? Then, uh, gonna be disappointed. I guess we could hang out here, but I'd rather just do what I need to do than leave. You like that quote? Yeah. Not bad. Every now and then I come up with a gem or two. Now, did we get a blizzard? I can't remember. Did we get a blizzard on the way here? No, we didn't. I was thinking, like, is the beach coming ready? No, I don't think so. There's no more there where that came from. Yeah, there's lots of quotes. Over 420, to be exact. But yeah, fish apparently you can do that now with uh, all crafted materials. I don't know if that's sure. I haven't, I haven't confirmed it, but apparently uh, everything you're in progress of crafting is not weighing anything. So potentially you could, like, use that strap for a lot of stuff. Uh, but I think Elfell mentioned this in the Discord. The condition of the item deteriorates, potentially, which is weird. Very strange. You need a bear coat in some cases? Yeah, exactly. Like if you have to bail on it and travel, at least it's not the penalty. What? What do you mean? What, what's what's going on? Oh, the flares, yeah. Let's leave a couple here. Do these cure in place? They do. Alright, let's just sit here and watch the sunrise. Or let the blizzard roll in. Quote law for future. <laughs> nice. Yeah, how does the quote only need one hide? How, how did Angerland say, you know what, this is fine. This is perfect. Like, that bear coat's too tough to make, and everyone was complaining about the bear coat. No one never mentioned the bear coat, honestly. That's the funny part. Ooh, 
we will wash our trailer and see if there's a moose there. I kind of want to hang around here until we find out if there's an aurora or not, though. Just get a couple hours and then maybe we'll just push out, do more beachcombing, or shoot the bear or something. See what goodies are under here. Can you choose the bear now too? As in, instead of harvesting, instead of repair, then make a new one. I, you could, yeah. Well, I don't see why you wouldn't. You get a bear hide out of it. So other than the guts, fish, you're right. I didn't even think about that. It's just like the moose coat now. One bear hide is all you need to have <laughs> good bear coat. And then, like, say the bear coat gets down to fifty percent, tear it up and build a new one. It's crazy. That's the reason I didn't like the moose coat. Yeah, it seems a little OP. Could be, um, be an uh, accident, but it's fine by me. Good, good point though. That's uh, that's something I did not catch on to. So say, yeah, one one bear coat to rule them all is all you need. Thirty nine hours. Yeah, not your your rate. Right. It's like the moose code is what 33 hours so it's not as bad it takes a long time though i'm wondering chat can you can you let me know if you've found it yet is there beach coming on the other side of the map now because before it only used to be at the lighthouse but i'm curious moose cloak is like 22 what? I don't like how it, it doesn't tell you the accurate time unless you're at the workbench. Moose Cloak is 2167. Wow, you're right. Okay. That's actually crazy. It's like 20 hours less almost than the bear coat. And it's not half as strong. It's definitely more than half as strong. It's so cold. I just oh, wait. chat. This looks like a blizzard coming in. Let's go, um, let's go hang out a bit. Maybe we cook that meat and mess with the bear. And then uh, a blizzard rolls in and we can get a new session of beachcombing. I was always on both sides. You can go up until the island with the cave at the end. Oh, really? Dude, it was. Well, that shows how observant I was. So you're saying the cave where there could be a bedroll spawn that has the potential beachcomb area too? It's good to know. Bear bed rule is about 22. Yeah, the bear bed rule and the moose coat are very similar. <laughs> Gunpowder? Nah, we'll go for it. Always has a marine flare, sewing kit, and it used to always have a bedroll. Now the bedroll is like a RNG chance that it spawns there. Bear bedroll is two hides, yeah. Bear bedroll is two hides, but that makes sense. If the bear bedroll is one hide and you could harvest it, that'd be silly. That's silly. He's walking, he's walking to me. Try to get him before the blizzard.
Oh, he's taking my arrows, chat. He wants them all. Two more shots. Only took eight. <laughs> what a tanky bear. Yeah, acupuncture. <laughs> Not recommended by your doctor, obviously, that kind. Okay, let's just swarm up in here. And then we'll at least get the hide off that bear. Moldy? Ah, we'll try it. Nice. Oh, my heart. Felt like it was beating. Hey, Stiff, does it really know you can just run around the bear? I feel like most video games have that exploit where, like, if you attack the hindquarter from behind, they just can't hit you. Only problem with that moose carcass is hauling the five kilos to the bench in the back of Hush River. Oof. Yeah, I, I hauled the moose side on this run from Tim or no, from Ash Canyon to Coastal, and that was a pain. I would never want to do that again if I can avoid it. Okay, let's see about... oh, Christmas. Okay, let's just go over here and grab the hide before it freezes. Yeah, we're, we're gonna get cold, chat. Damn, I'm freezing. But now we get the beachcomb respawn. Let's go. I wouldn't mind a couple guts, honestly, in the spare. Hey, Solar, welcome in. Yeah, all the coal you find, exactly. I just want like two two guts real quick. <laughs> Cooking level is way off. Let's not even think about that. Get a couple hours. No warming up for boiled water. No, unfortunately not. All right, let's get the beachcomb. Weather, come on, come on now. Might as well crunch some acorns up. We have the hammer, don't we? Ground acorns if we want them. I think I s the, the goal is to save them, and then if you need the coffee, you can, or you can make the, uh... Or you can just eat it, eat it, basically. I want to see if there's acorn trees on this map. I feel like we haven't found any in a minute. Oh, the weather has changed, chat. Let's just quickly... No, we'll leave that. Let's take some torches and go. Uh, these these acorns were from... Ooh, I'd say parts of uh, Coastal Pleasant Valley. 
maybe even Timberwolf Mountain if we found any there. I can't remember. Oh, right. Let's just drop off the hide first. No reason to forget about that. I'm looking around there a while. Didn't find any. Maybe, maybe not PV. Maybe it was the other map that uh, I came from before there. Like Ash, I don't remember any in Ash Canyon. I think Timberwolf had some. I don't think they respawned for our. Uh, no one's come into chat and said they had them respawn. Someone came into chat and said they checked after 40 days and didn't see a respawn. Does a coffee do anything? Well, keep in mind it, it's bugged right now, so you might have reduced fatigue, but it's only for half an hour, and then it doesn't tell you. But that is a thing. It could be bugged. So uh, the reduced fatigue is 30 minutes instead of an hour. But keep in mind, you get the warmth buff. So constantly grooming. Constantly coming to and whining and complaining. Give her some cat grass. Aww. Yeah, that should keep her happy. Oh, here we go, chat. Let's not, let's not miss our, uh, our chance here. Fresh drop. So we'll go around and then maybe uh, I'll sleep in the bear cave. We can always go to the other cave on the other side too. Someone was mentioning, dude was mentioning, there's more beach coming on the other side of the map. I didn't find any trees in Ash, PV, Bleak, Ravine, Crumbling. Yeah, none of the, uh, none of the transition zones seem to have them. I found teas in Milton. Milton's, like, the place. Milton has so many teas. Uh, Mystery Lake has a lot. Yeah, I don't know if I found any in Timberwolf. I probably did. Probably found a few in Timberwolf, because we had, we had teas to eat. We ended up eating, like, five large portions because we ran out of food. Timberwolf does have a few, yeah. So I found like three pairs of shoes, <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, we've been getting lots of shoes, so leather, cloth, it's just not gonna be an issue anymore. For territories, yeah, true. The um, area near the depot has like probably the most acorns. But yeah, that area in Milton near the office has so many acorns. And again, maybe we'll go back there on day 300 and see if there's spots that have regrown. But for what it sounds like, the acorns are not a renewable resource. One and done. Desolation point near the mine, close to Hibernia. Oh, interesting. We were just in that area, but I didn't really look around the bridge. We skipped that whole spot. But yeah, maybe by the bridge near the church, there's a lot of territory. Yeah, that's the thing. If I if I had notes, that'd be better. I should I should actually take some notes. So much for acorn science. You didn't see any. Oh, interesting. And they don't they don't show up on maps as far as I know. Like we mapped, for example, coastal, and there was there was acorn trees all through here by this trailer. So they don't show up on the maps, unfortunately. The idea of acorns being a thing in only a few select regions makes them more distinct. Yeah, I feel like uh, they did a good job on the acorns. I thought there was going to be way more. Like, it, it seemed like there was tons and tons of acorns everywhere. And I was like, oh no, these are going to be so strong, but it's not as big a deal. Once you eat, like, a few acorn portions, and all of a sudden there's not that many acorns left in the world. Oh, I was going to say, so much for beach coming, but here we go, we got something. The thing we actually wanted. We got a hockey jersey, chat. Oh, that's so good. Look at that 91% jersey. Oh, it's amazing. Nine plus two seven. So it's honestly like the same as the thin wool, 
because we're not wearing it as an outer layer, but it's nice to have. That's a great, that's a great find. I haven't seen the maple here in any new runs. Sweat, yeah, no, no Lakers, sweet. It's the Northern Ice is the name of the band, the team, the band, sorry, you know what I mean, chat. My guess so far from Acorn Science is there's 160 total, estimated for looting all regions. So you can get 40 coffees or 40 large portions. Now that's the one thing I was thinking about is wait till you have a cooking five and then make the large portions and you get way more calories out of them. But yeah, the, the acorns are, are cool, but they're not gonna be game breaking in any means. They're not gonna be a game changer. Now, chat, I think the next mission for this file will be to go get the flight jacket. And then we'll have bear coat inside, flight jacket outside, maybe the flight helmet. <laughs> but I, I hate to do this to you, chat, but I think I'm done today. I think I'm going to call it here and um, go to my garden and do a bit more gardening. Just so I'm uh, not going to get behind. I can only do like the two hours of work at once and then I get too tired. So I'm just going to try to do like more frequent visits, but shorter. That was awesome, though. I'm very happy with how that went. Very happy. The teas are fun, and then to fish when the burdock root comes in, and maybe some other stuff with the complex cooking. All of a sudden, there's going to be like like a lot of options of what you're going to do with your food. But the fact that you can take the acorns and either do nothing with them, make them coffee, or make them food is really cool. I like what they've done there. But thanks everyone for hanging out. I'm going to uh, just put Aster to sleep here for a minute. Yeah, why not? Let's give her a birch tea. We've been we've been neglecting her. She's done well last. See, like these acorns here, they weigh 0 0.12, and they'll give me 384 calories. It's really good. seven hours of sleep in a cave will be fine because shoot acorns is use of the hammer yeah that's the problem it's like do you take a hammer with you or do you leave a hammer at your base i love it chat look at that beauty jersey take off take off your hoser look at that this is great i love it it almost looks like we're wearing skates all right. Thank you, chat. Thank you for the day. I had a lot of fun. Uh, I think we'll we'll probably be back tomorrow. If you don't see me, apologies. It just means I'm too tired or, you know, I got caught up with the garden again. But either way, I'll probably be back tomorrow and maybe, maybe we carry this file on or maybe we do something else. I'm uh, still thinking about this beach beach comb challenge, but also we got the note mode that's hanging over my head. If we uh, just go quickly beat note mode, then we can do some other stuff, right? <laughs> Thank you everyone for hanging. Uh, it is uh, Saturday. I'm going to find someone else to raid and uh, I might be back tomorrow. So do do come by. Check the Discord if you want the latest news. Otherwise, thanks for hanging. You're all awesome. Appreciate the, uh, the good chats, the uh, support. A lot of generosity today, as always. All right, let's go read Dead Like Me. It is playing some speed run. No, signal void runs. I don't know if it's a speed run or not, but let's go check it out. Either way. Uh... Yeah, 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 they're doing speed runs. So speed runs for signal void chat. Let's go check it out. Maybe we'll be inspired. So thanks for hanging today. I really do appreciate you all. We'll see you again either tomorrow or Monday. Otherwise, have a great, uh, have a great weekend. Take care, everyone. Love you. Bye for now. Thanks, Rox. Take care, everyone. <laughs>